There we go. Well, hello, hello, everybody. <laughs> Very warm welcome to you to today's live stream right here on the uh, Amar Daniel Sim Racing YouTube channel with episode number seven already, uh, which is, you know, bad. But anyway, I'll explain a little more later about what I was, you know, just going to briefly mention. I had to stop and think for a second. But anyway, boy, very warm welcome to you for episode seven of What If Multi Multi Class Racing Competed Here or Multi Squared class racing competed here, shall I say, just to give it you know, the slightly shorter title, uh, around the circuit of uh, Portland in the uh, in the state of Oregon on the Pacific Northwest. So it's going to be, um, it's going to be an intriguing episode, <laughs> this one, considering, you know, if, you know, practice was anything to go by just a few minutes before the, um, before the live stream got going. So, but anyway, first and foremost, it's very nice to see um, some of you guys in the chat already. So, a very warm welcome to you, Ed. <laughs> nice to see, you, uh, nice to see you here, dude. And uh, a very toasty 25 degrees in uh, in where is it? Vancouver. That's right. Yeah. <sighs> I tell you, you're lucky, my friend, to have it 25 degrees at this time of year. I think it, it, it's been sort of, it, it hasn't been hovering. It's been very close, but but not quite into the 20s here in the UK, unfortunately. So it's been a little bit chillier. <laughs> Only a little bit, not much. But uh, very nice to see you um, here, Ed. And uh, Matt, 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 great track, has trees, has grass, has wall, not Paul Ricard. <laughs> Well, anything's better than Paul Ricard, to be fair, Matt, Matt, Matt. Although, um, unfortunately, this track, knowing you, doesn't have the word park in it, if you know what I mean. But we'll explain more later. But anyway, it's good to see you here, Matt, 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 and Todd and Crystal. <laughs> there we go. It's been a while since I've seen you, uh, Crystal. Multi yeah, I've, I don't know if you've seen the thumbnail before... Uh, Going live with the um, stream, Crystal, but I remembered multi squared from what you mentioned before. But um, how's things with you, Todd and uh, Crystal? I hope you both are doing very, very well on this uh, on this fine Monday. So uh, before we um, uh, before we sort of well, well after after the sort of introduction, there's just something that I uh, quickly, quickly want to discuss with you all before. Um, carry on with the next segment you know talking about the facts of where we're racing around today but um anyway we'll get to that very very shortly map 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 what if multi multi more hang on how many multis is that in the chat hang on one two three oh <laughs> what if multi yeah hang on this is getting confusing now <laughs> Problem is with the live stream chat. I mean, I can read it, but when it comes to small symbols, it's like very minute. It's barely visible. You need like a, a magnifying glass to see it. <laughs> to be fair, um, but let's see. Multi. Oh right, okay, I get you, Crystal. <laughs> anyway, it's been it's nice to see you here. It's been a long while. It feels like it's been forever, hasn't it? Since um, since you've been in the. Uh, in the live stream chat, Crystal. But it's very nice to a pleasant, uh, pleasant, to, uh, pleasant surprise to see you here. I can't get my words out just now. Um, but how about you, Todd? I hope, uh, I hope all is well with you, my friend. Over in the uh, over on the west side of uh, California, more or less. Well, I say not quite on the same patch in California, but on the same side of the country where we're driving today, on the um, on the west coast. Anyway, but I hope all is uh, I hope all is well with you, with you dude. Uh, Oh, you were sun tanning this morning. Oh, you lucky soul, Ted. <laughs> you got to make the most of the opportunities, haven't you? At the at this time of year, when the weather is, um, yeah, on any rare occasion, you know, when the weather is uh, lovely and toasty and sunny, you know, if if you're the sort of person who likes to get a tan, then uh, then yeah, you know, it's definitely the ideal opportunity to do so. So good on you, um. For doing that, Ed. And of course, it's still morning for you where you are as well, isn't it? Just like Todd as well. Um, but let's see. Matt, uh, do you know, Crystal, that's perfect. I've just looked at that just now. That's literally like a perfect shorter version of Matt, Matt, Matt. Although, don't ask me to try and, you know, <laughs> try and sort of pronounce that very, very quickly. It's just, I've, I've grown accustomed to it now. Just calling um, Matt three times, Matt, 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 during the, um, during the live streams. If you want to experiment with your own name, Crystal, I'd, you know I'll be willing to give it a go. <laughs> Just now, if you uh, if you want to change it, although hang on, I'll be going into the you know a future live stream. Who's this person? I don't recognise uh, this uh, th 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 this person who calls himself calls himself Crystal three times over. <laughs> 
<laughs> but anyway, um, let's see. Todd, yeah, you're all good here. PIR is about an eight-hour drive north. Oh, is it now? Oh, yeah, of course. It's more or less on the same side, isn't it? On the west coast, but it's you got to travel further north. It's in the um, it's in the Pacific Northwest, if I remember rightly. Is um, it's Portland International Raceway. Very intriguing track indeed. Uh, but we'll talk about the facts about it very very shortly. Just from what I'll be able to find out. But one thing I do know about this track is watching from um, I think it's from the kart series as a kid. You know, I saw like. I think the closest finished in the uh, championships history around there, around Portland, where Mark Blundell crossed the line before, um, oh, who was the other driver's name? Was it Michael Andretti, one of them? I can't remember, but uh, the, the finish was very, very close. It was at the uh, race in Portland. So that's what that's my sort of abiding memories about this track, indeed. And that's, you know, how I first came about, about it, watching Eurosport when it used to be good <laughs> here in the UK. Um... At sea tide, do you think it's four hours on the superbike? <laughs> Why do you need such things, there, Ed? If you've got, um, if you've got, su if you've got transportation, then you can easily go in your private jet along there. It doesn't. It, it literally takes no time at all, doesn't it, <laughs> Ed? To get to uh, to get to every destination that you want to. How or, or Todd? You know, if if business picks up, you never know, mate. You might be able to have your own private plane, and you can travel around. The, um, around the country, around various different racing venues. How cool would that be? You can start off anyway with Crystal getting that um, Circuit Gilles Villeneuve tattoo and uh, Matt, Matt, Matt with his Lada tattoo <laughs> as well. While I'm um, while I'm at it, business is suddenly picking up for Todd. <laughs> it's looking good. Oh, the music is a little loud on my end just now. Let me just uh, sort that out. Just now, just crank it down just a touch. There we go. That should be all right. Just now. You want that tattoo? <laughs> so bad. I can tell you. I can tell Crystal. I can tell. You know, that's why secretly, you know, you've been having, you know, these pictures hung up on your wall at home, you know, with an, of an apple and a Ford Mustang and the Circuit Gilles Villeneuve. Trap map, that is. Not, you know, actual picture of the, um, one of the corners around the circuit. <laughs> itself but um yeah it's uh it's certainly going to be uh it's certainly going to be an interesting uh, business for todd you know either way when things soon pick up <laughs> you never know he might actually branch out into canada crystal you never know you know keep keep your fingers crossed wink wink <laughs> depending how the uh how the second business goes um let's see yeah but there are no corners in the sky true <laughs> True, Matt, 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 unfortunately. It's all just sort of, you know, as the crow flies, isn't it, on a straight line? Which I, I suppose in a way is boring, but, you know, if you're um, if you're a stunt pilot, it wouldn't be too bad. You can, you know, introduce some corners or, you know, loop the loops or barrel rolls or anything like that just to make the journey more interesting. <laughs> Indeed, that'll be quite something. Um, Crystal's still trying to come up with a cool Lada tattoo design. It's a tall order. Yeah, I'm sure she's still devising as we speak. Todd. <laughs> you never know, she might actually come up with a hybrid of uh, different styles and just sort of mash them into one. You know, different logos, different designs on um, on there. But we'll wait and see how uh, how that goes. Especially on Crystal's end as well, when she gets free time, bless her. Uh, I, um, I'm happy to, to see you here, Crystal, and Ed, and Matt, 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 and Todd as well on today's stream. Um, there is something which I just want to quickly go over with you guys just before uh, we carry on. With today's stream, but um, you're featured f uh, for your architecture on a new YouTube channel. Oh, really? Nice. What's it called? Building the Moon House. Nice, <laughs> mate. That's amazing. I'll have to have a look on that later on after the uh, after the stream. Good on you, Todd. <laughs> he's uh, he's getting famous for you know you know what they say, right? People are famous for fi like is it five minutes or fifteen minutes, whatever. You know, knowing my luck, it's five seconds. <laughs> So you know that's amazing. We'll definitely have to um, we'll definitely have to check that out. I think we we all have to check that out at some point. Todd, my look, uh, you know, I'll have to have a look after the stream. But mate, that's amazing, absolutely amazing. Good on you, Todd, <laughs> for that. Um, one of these days, Todd will sell the first Lada tattoo on the North American continent in history. 
to be fair, I think at the moment, because of our streams, Matt, 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 Todd is literally like the only person in North America who's ever heard of Larder. Because <laughs> of the, 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 well, now, the North America continent, there you go. If you include Crystal as well. <laughs> there we go. No, it's going to be fun. Either way for you guys, it's going to be fun. But um, but speaking of which, just before we um, move on to the next segment, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before we you know, sort of carry on with the rest of the stream, um, for those of you who may... Oh, hang on. You're in the Magnus Walker of architecture and tattooing. <laughs> I like that, Todd. That's amazing, mate. <laughs> Magnus Walker. I love it. Um... Yeah, just before we sort of carry on, you might or you might not have noticed, if you look on um, the streams that I've got scheduled, lined up for this week, I do have five in total, including the last one on um, on Friday, and there's a, there's a particular reason for that, to be honest with you. Um, despite, uh, how, how can I put this? Despite how things have been panning out over the last couple of months or so since returning back on YouTube, and despite all the uh, all the smiles that I've had on the stream, and you know the bits of uh, laughter that we've um, that we, you know many wonderful conversations and laughter that we've endured, endured <laughs> that we've had. I make it sound like it's a bad thing. No, wrong word, wrong word. Forget that. Cross it off. <laughs> that we've um, that we've had together. Truthfully, um, secretly behind the scenes, I've really been struggling a lot with uh, with my mental health in particular because, unfortunately, um, this particular year, 2022, has not been a great one at all for me personally for all kinds of various reasons, um, which I won't, you know, talk into because I'll literally be like talking throughout the entire stream. If I did, you know, just all the um, all the various things that have been going on in my life and, um, and things like that. So, um, unfortunately, as a result of which, um, I've just seemed to have lost my confidence and motivation, if you like, with regard to uh, the streams that I've been doing, but also the racing as well. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I've had some bad luck along the way, you know, over the last couple of months as well. But um, admittedly, you know, because of these um, issues that I've been having, I uh, my I say my focus and concentration, also my driving has been affected somewhat. And I thought that maybe, you know, returning to streaming, you know, having something to focus on would help me to cope with, um, with everything that... Uh, that I've been enduring, but unfortunately, um, it hasn't one bit. Um, I'm still, you know, in a in a terrible situation right now, and it, it it literally is. At some points, it became so bad that I just literally felt like calling it quits, giving up on um, on everything. So, for the rest of this week, um, we've got a packed schedule ahead of us um, with all various titles. Anyway, so hopefully we can. Um, more or less go out with a bang uh, after this week anyway in terms of the um, content that we have and the streams that I have planned anyway and for the rest of this year it's just a case of just trying to take a step back and have a time to reflect on uh, the year that has happened everything that's unfolded and um, and try and sort of get my um, get my motivation and my self confidence back if you know what I mean so it's been um, I'm not gonna lie it's been tough <laughs> basically it's been um, it's been very very enduring so that's why uh, I've literally at the weekend having you know to spend a bit of time I've, I've come to a point where you know I just feel that before you know the situation with myself gets any worse I need to stop altogether I need to just to uh, take a step back, you know, just try and relax and uh, and just try and see if I can, you know, <sighs> try and see if, uh, you know, if I can get my, you know, self-belief and confidence back, if you know what I mean, so, but that's why, that's why you know, I'm extremely thankful to everyone who's been, um, 
very kind with, with me, you know, over the last couple of months or so since I've been returning back and, you know, having to, you know, having to put up with me, basically, <laughs> more than anything. Um, but also, you know, who's been very, you know, supportive and who have literally, you know, you guys who have literally stuck with me all throughout this um throughout this time because it's not just been to be fair it's not just been this year that's been difficult i mean i've had some really you know enduring moments throughout the last three years as well but you know i'm um i'm very very thankful to each and every one of you for being here so f thanks so much everyone for you know your kindness and your encouragement and support it really has as difficult as it has been it's just you know all the support that you guys give just really helps me enormously just to help me cope a little better with um with everything that I you know that I'm secretly enduring behind the scenes in the uh, in the background and trying to uh, trying to cope with as it were so you know massive you know massive thank you and uh, ma a huge appreciation to um to each and every one of you for uh, for being here it really does um really does mean a lot and I hope you know that with this being the last week of live streaming we can more or less have you know have fun together and sort of go out with a bang <laughs> if you know what i mean so um we'll just we'll see how things go but um now i think the main reason for you know why i keep going with this is because of you guys you know just the fact that you're always willing to uh, to be around and to uh and to stick with me and somehow put up with me, even though, you know, you could be doing better things <laughs> secretly, technically. But now, thank you. Um, thank you so much, everyone. It does. Uh, it really does mean a lot to me immensely. So, yeah, that's what's going to be happening, basically. So we've got uh, the, re the rest of the streams this week, Monday to Friday, and then uh, that will be it for um, for the rest of this year. Anyway, so. Um, oh, hello there, Captain Yoda. <laughs> Very nice to see you, dude. Um, you, you believe in my uh, your fellow Midlander. I'm glad someone does. <laughs> Captain Yoda, thanks so much, my friend. I um, I really appreciate the enormously, and uh, I hope that you're uh, I hope that you're doing well as well, mate. It's nice to see you here, and um, and everyone as well. But uh, for those of you who did listen just now, thank you, Ed. Thank you, Matt, 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 Crystal, and um, and Todd for listening in, and anyone else who might have uh, just listened to um. The little statement that I uh, that I wanted to make just now, but hopefully you know we can carry on with the rest of the stream and um, and the rest of this week's streams and make them as uh, as fun as possible, eh? Hopefully. <laughs> anyway, but how things with you, Captain Yoda? It's nice to see you, dude. As um, as always. I mean, I think it's is it Birmingham you said you're from, Captain Yoda? I think it is. If I um, if I remember rightly, you know. I keep thinking, fellow Midlander, yeah, he's got to be in Birmingham. I'm slightly further up north <laughs> in Wolverhampton. So, not, you know, south where people mistake me from here in the UK. <laughs> That's for sure. Thanks, Matt, Matt, Matt. I, um, even if it's just something as simple as like a, a thumbs up, that really means a lot. Thank you, Matt, 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 for that. Um, you are a place far, far away. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot. <clears throat> it's not here on planet Earth, is it, Captain Yoda? I forgot. You're um, you're up there somewhere, <laughs> in somewhere in the um, in the galaxy, far, far away. <laughs> so whose uh, location is secret and uh, not well, uh, not very well known. There you go. <laughs> of course, Captain Yoda. Yeah, it's been to be fair. You know, it's been ages since I've watched. Uh, Star Wars, so a lot of, you know, the film franchise, I've kind of forgotten, to be honest, but I hope that, you know, during the break, after what I've done with these, these week's streams, I can, you know, sort of catch up and re-watch those, you know. I don't know if anyone else in the live stream chat likes um, Star Wars in any way, shape or form. <laughs> so, I never used to, but as I got older, my taste changed, but, um, can you come? <laughs> Not until you got your tattoo first, Crystal. You got to get your tattoo from Todd first, and then you can go. <laughs> That's a top priority, first and foremost. Tattoo first, then travel far up in space. There you go. <laughs> oh dear me! Right then, everyone. So let's talk you through. Um, oh, you are more than welcome. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice ac uh, friendly accommodation by uh, by Captain Yoda. 
you see the word park, not in the title of the uh, the circuit map, 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 but in the description anyway about it. We'll um, we'll talk about it anyway. You love Star World, what what world was? <laughs> I can't talk now. Star Wars when Captain Kurt does things. <laughs> <laughs> I had an inkling, Crystal. I had an inkling. Larder in space. <laughs> yes, I like that, Todd. That's amazing. <laughs> I like that. Larder in space. It could be. It could be like you know. It, to me, that sounds like a the latest saga in uh, Star Trek. <laughs> More than anything, R rather than Star Wars. But anyway, back on topic, back on point. We're getting sidetracked. Sorry about that, everyone. So, anyway, the Circuit of Portland International Raceway, which is where we are, is uh, situated in the city of Portland, if you haven't guessed already. You know, that's why it's called Portland. Um, which is in uh, in the U.S., as we mentioned, in the U.S. state of Oregon, which is in the Pacific Northwest, or as we discovered, it's eight hours north of uh, where Todd lives in California. So there you go, a bit more, um, a bit more uh, facts to add to the uh, add to this, but obviously it's a bit too late to write that down. Um, the racing venue is part <laughs> of the uh, of the Delta Park Complex, which is a pumic, um, pu pumic, public. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk anymore. Public Municipal Park. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. So, um, basically, there's a whole load of facilities within this park itself. I think, from trying to remember by um, by memory, I think there's obviously like a picnic area. There's like a, um, a, a an area for you know to walk your dog. But there's also like seven softball fields, nine. Uh, soccer fields or football fields for for those of us who know the actual name of the sport <laughs> um, and also a, a concession hall I think is there as well and of course this racetrack as well um, that's part of this big massive park in um, in Portland itself uh, Crystal oh you've been to Portland Maine itself oh, oh Portland Maine oh that's a different Portland <laughs> I think if my memory um, my memory serves me correctly um, sadly, first car in space is already taken by Tesla. Now, Lada needs to be the first car. <laughs> no, they need to go beyond that, Matt, Matt, Matt. They need to be first on Mars. You know, you've got the, um, you got the rover bots roaming around, you know, Mars. You need, the Ru Russians need their version. They need a Lada, you know, a remote controlled Lada on, uh, on Mars. <laughs> roaming round. All over the place. Um, Ed, your Bailey's coffees. Your, my hands left. Let's race. <laughs> we'll get there, Ed. We'll get there. Don't worry. Don't worry. So, uh, point number two, just a very quick one. The, uh, the Portland Circuit uh, first opened its doors in uh, 1960. And the facility, of course, because of it being part of the Delta Park Complex, is owned by uh, the city of Portland. Itself, so literally the uh, the entire council of uh, of Portland are very uh, very much responsible for the um, running and the maintenance of uh, of this racetrack. And uh, what a splendid job they're doing! If they could somehow expand it, make it bigger, that would be nice. <laughs> that would be a bit nice. Um, it's a little bit short as we you know as we get on to point number three. Oh, hang on, he would crash the moon on a larder. Problem solved, Chris. <laughs> That's very true. That's very true. But hey, what can you do? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can see, Matt, 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 there's lots of trees around. If you um, if you look just above the point number one on circuit. But anyway, point number three about Portland. Uh, Portland. I think you said Pointland then, not Portland. <laughs> um, despite the fact that the track is situated in a large public communicable park, there you go, I'm pronouncing that right, the length of the circuit itself is relatively short at just 1.967 miles or 3.166 kilometres. And as a result of which, as because of the short distance of the track, uh, the actual fastest race lap, uh, the lap record around uh, this track itself, is set by Carlos Munoz, in uh, 2018, in a Dallara IndyCar with a time of 58.7403 into four digits rather than three for their decimal timing, just to add confusion even further. But the qualifying record is actually set by Will Power in the same year 
um, with a time of 57.3467. There you go. I had to read that correctly before I get blinded just now. Oh, I'm going cross-eyed. <laughs> Looking at the fact. Is that a volcano in the distance? No, it isn't. Ma ma ma. It depends on which side you look. Ah, on the left side. No, it's not a volcano. Ma ma ma. But I'll tell you what there is, though. If you look to the right-hand side just of the uh, Portland International Raceway logo, there is a... Um, in fact... That is the mountain you're thinking of, isn't it? I'm just—I don't know why I was looking on the left side for the volcano. Uh, just below that is the uh, is a tram line in the background, which is fully functioning, fully working, which you might see uh, during the stream itself. Um, let's see. But no, it would be interesting, wouldn't it? Couldn't? Could you imagine that, everyone? If you know, if we um, we drove around here and uh, as, as we were doing so, the uh, volcanoes were going to erupt and then the whole circuit, just to add to the challenge, even further, will be covered in molten lava. How amazing would that be? <laughs> this, this race has literally become volcanic. There you go. <laughs> terrible, I know. Absolutely terrible. Um, you, uh, you use trees to build houses. <laughs> Well, it's still old-fashioned, Ed. You know, you don't use uh, you don't use bricks or concrete or anything like that. Well, then again, I suppose it, it differs from country to country. I mean, I know that a lot of the frames in um, the homes in America still use wood in particular. So I suppose there is that. I suppose that you. I assume it's the same in Canada as well. You know, whereas um, us sophisticated Brits, we uh, we use bricks and um, breeze blocks and things like that. <laughs> To construct our houses, so they're a bit more stronger. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm sure that wooden houses are still just as strong. I hope. I hope. <laughs> anyway, so, point number four. At present, the Portland Circuit hosts uh, rounds of the IndyCar Series, NASCAR X-Infinity, and the Arca Menards Series West, which, to my knowledge, is uh, yet another NASCAR event series, just with a different name tag to it just to add to the confusion even further for those of you in the live stream chat who've got much knowledge just how many series of nascar out are there that's part of the you know the nascar organization just out of curiosity because i know there's like loads of them it's very confusing to know which is which because a lot of them just more or less use the same car <laughs> um is it mount helen's near here i don't honestly know map 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 I could be wrong. I, I assume so, but you'll have to. Uh, you, for those of you who've got um, the facilities right now, we'll have to use um, Google Maps or no, or either that or just Google itself to find that out. Captain Yoda just popped in to say hello. Nine hundred years old, so you have to go. And he <laughs> yes, I like that, Captain Yoda. Yes, I'm, I I understand that. You know, you you need as much rest time as possible. Being um, that particular age. So that's fair enough. <laughs> Captain Yoda. But it's been nice to see you, my friend. My fellow Midlander. What was he? Um, I was going to say fellow alien, but that wasn't quite right. That, mean, that must mean I'm an alien then. <laughs> I am from another planet, quite literally. But uh, no, that's absolutely fine, Captain Yoda. But it's been very nice to see you, my friend. And I hope to see you again very, very soon on um, another live stream that we have this week the remaining ones we have left but have a good evening captain yoda and thank you for dropping in i really appreciate that enormously so finally um oh yeah i forgot didn't quite finish point number four uh in the past the track has also welcomed imza uh i can't remember the last time imza was around here at all uh the priority world challenge which is now known as gt world challenge america nascar craftsman truck series there you go at least i know what uh you know that series is called part of NASCAR organization and the uh, and the Trans Am series. So at least I know what Trans Am is. So that's separate altogether, which is that separate entity, which is good. <laughs> and then finally, um, I know this is Todd's favourite point that we uh, that we get to right now in the live stream when we talk about the facts. And I'm sure everyone else who's a regular of this series will know as well. But even now, the circuit logo, as you can see, features the colours red and white. It doesn't mean that they represent any painted runoff areas on the circuit at all. So, you can all be reassured, rest assured, knowing that we are definitely not driving around this track, which, is in any, which isn't in any way, shape or form, a facsimile of Paul Ricard. Yes! <laughs> 
We are not racing around poor Ricard. Can we have um, celebrations in the chat? Claps, party emojis or stuff like that. <laughs> that, we're not, um, that we're not racing around poor Ricard today. So let's see. Uh, let's really close that down. And then uh, we'll be getting this underway very, very shortly. So practice. Uh, we'll give it a couple of minutes practice. Um, Ed, ring of fire. <laughs> the rich have concrete. The poor have trees. <laughs> oh, I see. So it's a class thing, unfortunately, Ed. Unfortunately. Um, who else have I missed in the live stream? Chapters before we continue. Um, oh, so it might be a volcano. Oh, really? So it might be a volcano. Yikes. We better, you know, be wary of that as we drive round here today. I'm worried now. Shall we, uh, shall we actually proceed with this? Knowing that we're, um... Driving around an active volcano today, yikes. <laughs> I'm slightly apprehensive now, going to um going to this one, you know. The sweat has literally just started pouring down my forehead. <laughs> the anxiety, the nerves. Oh am I gonna be um am I literally gonna be encrusted in a, a layer of lava <laughs> today? Oh hello Pedref. Very nice to see you uh, here and happy Monday to you, Pedref. I hope um I hope it's all is well with you, my friend. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you. I just literally noticed you in the live stream chat, so it's good to see you here, um, Pedref. So let's go and load our setup. We'll go on the circuit very, very shortly, but I hope all is well with you, Pedref. Um, there are loads of volcanoes from Redding, California, up through Washington State. So Helen's... Oh, that's where Verena May and Michael Somnesia live in Washington State. So I've got to, I'm, I'm scared now about that as well. Yikes. St. Helens is near there. Uh, as are Hood, Rainer, etc. Right. <laughs> so literally not many at all. <laughs> then Todd. I'm surprised. You know, I, I should imagine there are quite a few active volcanoes. But I didn't think there was that many, to be fair. <laughs> I didn't think that was meant many... Um, many in there so <laughs> crystal your typing is broken <laughs> well if it's any consolation your typing is broken my uh, my mouth is broken you know having to try and speak out some of my sentences sometimes it's gonna be bleh, 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 roll off the tongue <laughs> quite literally but um but anyway we we can count the nascar series oh how many is there just before i go out on track nascar cup xfinity truck arca arca how many versions of Arca are there? <laughs> oh, hang on. I've lost count now. So, NASCAR Cup, Xfinity. I'm guessing NASCAR Cup's the main one, obviously. Uh, Xfinity, Truck, Arca, Arca East, Arca West, Pinties, Euro, Mexico, Wheeled Modified, FedEx. That's at least, what, 11, 12? I, I started to lose count about halfway through. <laughs> I didn't realise there was that many, to be fair. Crikey, O'Reilly. Um, I hear there are aliens in Mount Rainer. The radio told you. <laughs> uh, I, I hate to imagine what sort of radio you listen to, Crystal, but it's not, you know, the usual, you know, the usual stations ripping out the pop beats and all that. So you, you are bopping your head every day. It's all these uh, intriguing podcasts and stories that you, uh, that you hear. <laughs> I can imagine. Welcome to the E.T. Files, <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Obviously, I can't say X Files because that's you know rip off, you know, of the uh, of the TV series. No, my look, I get screwed. <laughs> um, sued, not screwed. <laughs> See, <laughs> I can't talk today. I meant sued, not screwed. <laughs> no, my look. So past the Ford GT and the Skip Barber. Just now. Voice command crystal. <laughs> she probably does that in secret. She probably does voiceovers for all these. Um, you know, obviously with audio books and things, you can get you know, all the various uh, science fiction novels and titles, all like real life alien um, sightings and things. Crystal's probably does that. That's why. That's probably why she's not around. You know, not just because of work, but that as well on the side. <laughs> as well as she does. Speaking of which, hello Crystal. <laughs> um, Matt, Matt, Matt. You would need a doctorate to figure out all the North American oval racing series. Oh yeah, because there's, I mean, there's not just the major championships, Matt, 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 but there's the smaller ones, smaller national series. 
as well. There's loads to uh, to bear in mind to think about. I dread to think how many there, there is actually in terms of Elbow series. That involves NASCARs and trucks and uh, buggies and all that kind of thing. So keep your foot flat, Scott McLaughlin, keep your foot flat. So yeah, this is literally the circuit we're racing around. So as we go around this section, have a look on that bridge on the left as we drive past, because there might be a tram running uh, from time to time on there that you might see. So there's the Goodyear blimp above us as well. I don't know about Goodyear. As I explained earlier, this has definitely been a bad year <laughs> for me, personally, rather than Goodyear, if you get what I mean. Um, your voice would angle pe anger people. No, no. How can people get angry listening to a beautiful French accent, uh, French Canadian accent? Wah! Crystal. Unless you distract me doing that, Crystal. <laughs> Whoa, and that. <laughs> Ouch. Ripping my arm off, quite literally. No, no. I I'm still yet to listen to your voice anyway. I'm sure it wouldn't anger people, irritate them. I'm surprised you guys don't, you know get irritated by me listening to me because mine isn't the best accent let's be honest with that in terms of English accents anyway that's why people in my own country can't even figure out where I'm from <laughs> quite literally <laughs> oh are you were uh, oh, by the way if I use certain words it's because you know they ask you if I'm from a certain part of the uh, of the UK so if I was if I was asked if um, if I'm a person from Birmingham, say, oh, are you a brummy? No! <laughs> I, am not some, I am not someone who lives in Birmingham, because apparently our accents are the same, which they are not in any way, <laughs> shape and form. Um, let's see. Around and around and around in the lava. <laughs> Ed, yeah. No, in my luck, it's going to be the case today, mate. It's going to be the case where... Um, we're going to be engulfed in um, in a pile of lava, and you might you'll see, you see me now on the stream. By the end, you won't because I'd have been uh, completely <laughs> disappeared, covered in this hot molten lava at the end. I'm dreading that to be honest. If it, if it, if it does turn out to be a proper volcano, <laughs> uh, dear. Wow, that Formula car sounds drunk. Which one, Crystal? The one I'm driving, or a different one? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, this isn't the first time you've heard this car, is it? Hopefully. You've heard it more than a few times. All the red cars are hot lava, can't touch them. <clears throat> no, definitely not. Definitely not, Crystal. Although, because my tyres are red as well, that means, you know, I have to be very conservative and ginger with them. They're stickered red, so that, that's like a warning sign, a danger sign. You know, push at your peril. <laughs> If you do, you might end up having a big accident in this car on the soft tyres. Whoa, as we go to the inside of Joshua Vanstone. Whoa, as we go very sideways in front of Joshua Vanstone. <laughs> Just now. But yeah, this is going to be an interesting one, folks, today around Portland. Just bouncing off the rev limiter. I've also, I've also adjusted the setup slightly as well. So we've got shorter gear ratios and higher downforce as well to help us through this... Um, tiny track which will hopefully help whoa 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 <laughs> oh and a massive crash in front and i was trying to say that in american now some voice but obviously you know didn't <laughs> or you know doing the commentary for some of the races and it's hard into the wall hopefully we will be today but um let's see as we go down the inside i've had least right and there's the skip barbers yeah, which car was you referring to, Crystal? And you said it sounded like a, it was drunk. <laughs> Just out of curiosity. Um, <laughs> it's cool to see those smile emojis, Todd, as well. I noticed them, don't worry, in the, uh, in the chat as well. So how many... Um, as we try and skip past it, bear with me just a sec. Wow, it's been squeezed by Roman Grosjean. <laughs> past Todd, uh, past, yeah, past Todd just now. I bet Todd was literally sweating, sitting at home, thinking, please don't hit my driver tar. 
don't hit my dry guitar. I'll try not to, but it depends what these lot are doing. You know, these bunch of um, AI bots. I need to use a different word altogether then. Um, oh, the tiny one. That's the skip bar, the crystal. Whoa, what? I missed my breaking point. Right, so we'll go through the chicane. Through the right. And the left. There we go. Back out onto the track. That's how you, uh, that's how you, uh, rejoin on, on circuit. And yeah, this is a fun track. Ma 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 I like driving around here. Um, it's a challenge, don't get me wrong, especially because of the fact that it's so short and so narrow in places as well. But, I mean, apart from the start finish straight, but apart from that, you know, it's, uh, it's really fun to, uh, to drive around here. Around Portland. This is literally, like, my first time in the sim, anyway, driving around here in this um next week is san jose street course well <laughs> if i was streaming next week crystal it probably would be the case yeah but because this be my um my last week oh hello crystal whoa sorry for the tap crystal <laughs> i'll uh, i'll respray the paint on the door where i scratched you just then crystal sorry about that but yeah if i was streaming i probably would um I would try that out as well, but instead we've got a packed one ahead of us for this um, last week that we're doing, so I should do Pacific Raceway at some point too, yeah, definitely. There's, there's still a load of tracks, to be fair, Matt, 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 that I've installed for AC that I haven't tried out yet, but that's one of them, if I remember rightly as well, so I'll definitely have to give that a go as well, you know, for future series. Um, Why don't you have a car here? Um, good question, Ed. It's because um, when I... Because uh, you haven't been part of the channel for long, have you, Ed? Um, when I... Um, uh, I a few... Uh, I, this was like a couple of months ago when I um, set up this series, when I changed the AI driver names in... Um, in a set out course, but you wasn't part of the channel then, so it's been more or less the same since the uh, since the beginning. But if you like, um, when I do the new series in the new year, Ed, I'll be sure to um, to include your name as well, my friend, in the uh, in the list of driver tar names. So don't you worry about that. We'll um, we'll, we'll do that in the future. But uh, apologies in the meantime, Ed. I'll uh, I'll definitely do that. So don't you worry. So nobody gets. Um, so nobody gets left out. So hopefully when we get to do that, the next series anyway, we, uh, we plan to do Formula One cars from various decades. Um, for, the, for the next series. So I'll be sure to do that. Ed, don't you worry, my friend. Past the skip barber, or as um, Crystal puts it. Oh, that car makes a funny sound. <laughs> as just now. Um... There's one new Vancouver track called Area 27. I've never heard of that one, to be honest, Crystal. I've never heard of that one. To me, it, it sounds like a restricted area, a bit like Area 51 <laughs> in the US, if you know what I mean. That's Canada's version. <laughs> Area 27. I wonder if that's secretly where you were, Crystal. That's why you don't give it away. <laughs> Much. It's tox it, top secretive. I need to say toxic then. <laughs> top secretive, that's what I meant. Crystal says she works in a, a laboratory and things like that. And with animals, but really, I bet she's a spy. <clears throat> that's my bet. Um, Todd, attend the San Jose kart race. Apart from, whoops, pop and crossing the trolley tracks. Whoops, it's a pretty good layout. Oh, you met Sebastian Bourdain in real life, did you? Nice. I know he's a multiple um, kart series world champion, isn't he? Uh, Sebastian Bourdain. Before he went into F1. So, that's good. <laughs> good on you, Todd. Meeting many, uh, meeting famous names in these uh, American series that you've attended. So, there we go. We'll give it one more practice lap and then... There's no point in me really asking the next question, is there? Because I know what the answer will be. But I might as well ask, anyway, just as we before we go into the qualifying session, which is to qualify or not to qualify. 
That is the question, everyone, that I put before you right now. So do you want me to do a qualifying lap or start at the back of the grid and make it as hard as possible for myself? There we go. As we go, no, 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 fighting back. <laughs> I don't like that. When it transitions into the next session, the wheel literally grips onto you. <laughs> or tries to pull away. So you have to... It, it, literally, like, trying to pull it like a dog on a leash, you know, trying to keep it under control. No! Get, get, get back, wheel! <laughs> there we go. A wild dog, that is. Not, you know, not a very well-trained um, dog. There we go. That's what I meant. But anyway, everyone, to qualify or not to qualify? That is the question. Um, oh, did you? <laughs> oh... Crystal, I'll bet you'd love to see, you know, stuff like that out of the ordinary. That's not very usual for, um, you know, uh, as usual features as part of normal racetracks. I like that, to be honest with you. It's got a different character to it that just makes it interesting and intriguing. And why not, you know? Um, right, so just for Crystal, we'll ride on board one of these funny cars first, the Skip Barber. <laughs> The, um, the very tiny, shrunken version of the Indy car. There we go. On groove tyres as well, as you can see. As well. Um, let's see. Who have I messed? Uh, who have I messed? <laughs> I'm on top form today. Who have I missed? That's what I meant in the chat. Matt, Matt, Matt. But it's called Area 57, so people are hesitant to move in the area, closing the track eventually. Like it happened to every other track. Yes. I can... Um, I can imagine that. It's, it's, it's literally like a top secret area, isn't it? Top secret racetrack. I bet really all it is, it's just that the police train there. You know, they just call it Area 50, uh, 27 to put people off. <laughs> In case it was anything, you know, higher ranking than that. If you know what I mean. It's a police training uh, facility with an inbuilt racetrack. So they can, um, so they can literally, like, control their... Um, control their police cars and they have obstacles within the way as well you know they give um, you know you've got obviously you have traffic trying to dodge around traffic and then they have um, as part of the training they have like donut stands as well and they have to try and do do a handbrake turn into this donut stand grab the donut quickly and then on to um, and continue with their police chase <laughs> Pretend police chase. No, sorry, I can't stop. I have to grab a uh, a quick a quick donut and a coffee, and I have to go, you know, go and catch catch this criminal <laughs> once and for all. It's a, it's all really part of that, I reckon. Matt, Matt, Matt. I reckon it's all part of that. Um, fan access to drivers and cars at IndyCar is great. Oh yeah, it's definitely it's more open than um, and welcoming than something like Formula One, for example. Todd, uh, where you literally have to buy expensive tickets to uh, to gain, you know, VIP access to go and, uh, you know, to, uh, check out stuff behind the scenes and meet drivers and things like that. So I love that about, you know, um, I mean, generally it's more friendly and open and welcoming in, um, in American motorsports, I find as well, which I like to see. And oh dear, look at, oh, there's one of the trams to the left. I don't know if you saw that everyone on the uh, on the stream if not you can always flick back to go and have a look at that oh you want a fast car ed I'll, I'll, I'll make sure when you get when we get to the next series i'll give i'll give you a fast car don't worry don't you worry um you think ai you is drunk too <laughs> are you suggesting you're drunk by the way um right now crystal if if so i'm a bit worried to be honest <laughs> I, ha I have you know we uh, we don't promote such behavior here <laughs> on the channel um let's see i'm already joking if it's like apple juice which i know you'd seem to prefer you'll be fine you'll be absolutely fine uh, in fact as soon as you mentioned it crystal let's ride on board with you shall we so where is uh crystal there we go and the volume's going to be much louder oh yeah so i need to go into Oh yeah, it's literally like nearly double the decibels of the Skip Barber car that we was in just now. Um, Canada is lacking racetracks. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, there's not many, is there? Ed, um, 
there's only off the top of my head I can name two great tracks that you have over in um, in Canada there's obviously Sir Quiz Gilles Villeneuve you know for Crystal I had to put that first obviously and there's also uh, Mouse Sport as well um, which used to be wow it's going loud through my speaker as well it's quite that down <laughs> Not if I've put Crystal in the best car, but the loudest car as well. There we go. Um, yeah, but there's also Mouse Sport as well, which of course used to be who did used to host the Canadian Grand Prix for Formula One for a number of years before um, uh, before the um, Circuit Gilles Villeneuve took it over in 1978, if I remember rightly, off the top of my head. Um, Let's see. Map, map, map. People build tracks way outside the city so they don't bother anymore. People start building houses closer and closer to race time. People play away. Oh no, it gets me that map, map, map. I don't understand the logic behind that at all. Why people, you know, why people are willing to buy, invest or buy houses knowing, you know, that they are going to be moving closer to a racetrack. I mean, what? Why? <laughs> If you, if, you, if you don't like the noise, then why purchase a house that's right next to a major track? You know, I get it that not everybody is interested in motorsport, but you've got to... You've got to people have to bear in mind the, uh, the source, the, the revenue that these um, uh, places um, generate in order to keep the local economy going. So it's actually... They complain about the noise, but they don't think about all the great things that you know, the racetracks are doing. It's not just providing motorsports, literally providing a, um, a great source of economy for the, uh, for the local community, as it were. So they don't think about that, do they? Unfortunately, Matt, Matt, Matt. Um, oh yeah, there's also Toronto Street Circuit as well. I forgot about that as part of IndyCar as well. That's free tracks in Canada that I think of. Um, Oh, you have some near you, Crystal. Are there any ones no, that I might have heard of by any chance? Um, I don't know if I've heard of them, but if you want to write them down, I'll let you know if I have or haven't. Um, let's see. Same thing happens shooting ranges around here also. <laughs> well, it depends if you like shooting or not. It's the same story, really, with that, to be fair. Um, that, that, that. Ed, you get the quarter mile mission raceway on Superbikes. I suppose that counts as well, even though it's like a um, it's a drag strip, it's still a racetrack of some form where Mount Sport happens, so that counts. Uh, Ed. Absolutely. There is a mission raceway track for AC, fun little track. Well, it's definitely our mission to go and, you know, give it a go at some point then, that, that, that. <laughs> uh, definitely. I would support from R Factor, uh, so it's probably a great racetrack then. If it's um, generally when people port um, circuits from other games, that, that's a general sign. It usually means that uh, that it's very good. So I would have to give that a go if I remember it at some point as well. Um, Mont Trem Tremblant. I've never heard of that one, to be honest with you. Um, Right, who should we ride on board with next? Uh, while we're here, Todd. There we go. In the um, to turn the volume up a little more. In the um, Chevrolet Corvette C8R, newer version, which doesn't sound anything like the previous Corvettes, unfortunately. It sounds like a um, sounds like a faux Ferrari now that we're in. <laughs> is this Corvette? But hey ho, such as the times, emissions, and you know global warming and all that stuff. So. My argument is, you know, with that, actually, just while we're thinking about it, why not, instead of using batteries for uh, the cars itself, why not use, you know, sustainable fuel, carbon neutral fuel? That, for me, is the future to go into. You know, the way things are going in the world, I mean, I'm not sure it's like what it's like in your territories where you are, but I know that things like gas and electric prices are just going through the roof, unfortunately. Um, here in the UK so when it comes to electric cars you can't you know they're gonna cost you even more of a fortune to um, to charge up unfortunately and oh Todd's gone in the pit typical <laughs> okay let's ride on board with our NASCAR instead around the circuit so let's see the ones nearest to you are Trois Riviere, Gilles Villeneuve 
and Kala Kalaboj. Is that how you pronounce it? You'll have to forgive me. I'm definitely obviously not French Canadian in any way, shape or form, Crystal. So I apologise if I pronounced those wrong. <laughs> um, the only ones I, ha I think I've heard of Trois Rivières before, I think. Um, but the, uh, well, and Gilles Villeneuve, obviously. But the other ones, I haven't, to be honest with you. I, when I get a chance, when I'm on my break, away from content creating, I'll have to look into those further into other tracks but obviously as I say the knowledge of the ones I know include um, Circuit Gilles Villeneuve, um, Trois Riviere, Toronto, Mouseport and that's kind of it really. But, uh, unfortunately it, they're not obviously not as well known as a lot of the uh, tracks in the US but we'll have to do something to um, to catapult their status further we'll try anyway. Um, it's a drag track and a circuit. Oh, so it's a two-in-one, I see, Mac, Mac, Mac. I get you. You used to own a Mac one, so seeing yourself in a show. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Todd. I do, if, I, if, 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 if Ford must, if, if they somehow built a Mustang GTE car, I'd have put you in that, but all the spaces for GT4 Mustang were taken off. <laughs> Unfortunately, Todd. Yeah, you know, but I'm sure if I could, if I use some, um, if I, if I'm able to do some wizard trickery and you know modify a GT4 car to make it a GTE, somehow we'll have to correct that. We'll have to correct that. Um, Frillably view. I think you think Mouse Sport is Canadian. Well, technically it's still called both, Crystal. Um, the longer the, the, the actual racetrack is called Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, but you, the, 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 the people also call it by the shorter name as well, which is Mouse Sport. So, either one is um, either one is acceptable to be honest with regarding to uh, the names of the circuit. So you you can call it either one. Call it either one. And now back on board with an Indy car this time with um, 2021 champion Alex Palou around the circuit. Or is it Alex Palo? Oh, I don't know how you pronounce it. <laughs> um, well, it is correct. Uh, it is correct, but you can technically call it either one. People still refer to the track as either Canadian Tire Motorsport Park or Mouse Sport. So it, it doesn't really matter to us which one you use. There's, they're, they're more or less the same. There you go. <laughs> um, there's a really good AC mom from Mont Trem. Tremblant. Gotcha, Todd. I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to look into that. Is that on Race Department or a different website, um, Todd? So obviously, most of the resources come from um, for tracks come from Race Department, but you know, there's other places you can get them as well. Um, I take it you're quite frequent, then, um, Todd. By the sounds of things, do you play a Seto Corsa much? at all you must do surely i mean if you uh, if you mentioned about the uh, mont tremblant um track on circuit you forgot there's one called is that really icar <laughs> there's a track called icar i get you and what do uh, what do people um, drive there just out of curiosity <laughs> <laughs> they'll probably call it, you know, they'll probably call it iCar, but really it's just like boat, race, um, racing boats <laughs> and things like that. Oh, hello, Shortmaster, how dare you call me Captain Snow? <laughs> like I said, one day, Shortmaster, you and me in the contest, we'll see you then who's Captain Snow. <laughs> Cheeky personage, Shortmaster. Anyway, it's nice to see you, my friend. I hope all is well with you, Shortmaster. I hope, uh, Ah, oh, typical IndyCar going in the pit lane. No! <laughs> Alright, we'll ride on board with another IndyCar. And all the is just in here. More traffic on circuit. And there's the Goodyear blimp in the background. You believe it's on race department? Right, okay. I'll, uh, I'll definitely look into that. Thank you, um, Todd. I haven't really looked so much, to be honest, to be fair, on race department. Because I've noticed over... Um, I'd say the last few months or so, I noticed that particularly 
mods for AC are starting to slow, sort of whittle down and die out. There isn't so much, um, there isn't so many tracks or um, cars being released like they used to on um, on race department or anywhere else. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely not dying, but you notice it has, it isn't as um, frequent. So I don't, um, I don't look on there very often. Or NASCAR out to the left, just now. Um, so. Yeah, when I do get chance during the break, I, that will be one circuit to look at as well. Um, let's see. What tracks do Throttle House use for their car testing? Oh, um, no, it's not Throttle House. Are, are they Canadian? I thought they were. I thought they were based in the US. Um, ma, 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 I could be wrong. I could be wrong with regards to that. Shortmaster, all good. You wanted to do some practice runs for the rally series, but it was going, but it was way too hot for some racing. Ah, so now you're feeling the fact that we have for a while, Shortmaster. <laughs> you know, now you know what it's like for us doing sim racing in the summer. Now that um, now that the seasons are changing where you are in South Africa, going into spring and then summer. Whereas it's getting much cooler for us, you know, we can uh, we can lounge back and you know stay cool. Whereas you know, Shortmaster is melting in the sim rig. <laughs> I'm only joking, Shortmaster, but that's fair enough, my friend. Now just make sure that you've got you know some way of keeping hydration and um, you know get some cool air blown to you. Maybe a fan or air conditioning if you have it where you are, mate. Um, it's never a good thing to uh, to see people, you know. Suffocate because of the heat in any way, shape or form. Um, God is a Ford guy. Right, that's a bit debatable. <laughs> to be fair, Ed, that's a bit debatable. We, 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 um, I'm sure, you know, he's not prejudiced. He, uh, he he literally likes every car, well and truly. Just like he loves every um, every one of his children here on, um, on Earth. So... Um, Todd, you used to drive more, but your computer just isn't up to it anymore. Ah, so you're in need of an upgrade. I see. I get you, my friend. I get you. I mean, luckily, you know, my PC is out just over three years old anyway, so uh, it probably will be long for me, though, before I need either an upgrade or just to build a new system altogether, which I need to try and somehow save some pennies for. <laughs> try. Anyway, but uh, we'll have to see, you know, I don't. I doubt it'll be next year. It might be the year after before I consider doing that. But uh, hopefully you can as well, Todd. Uh, hopefully you can. Um, I mean, thankfully now that GPUs are becoming more common, the prices of those have started to drop down. And if you can, because of the new 40 series being released, Todd, make sure that you know you can pick. You can pick up a um, a 30 series graphics cards nvidia for uh, for really cheap now the prices of those will start to dwindle and come down so definitely consider that if you can um if you can as well mate while while we're talking about that um let's see but uh, how's practicing been going for you short master by the way on um on the community rally i hope it's all been going well for you despite being you know how how hot it is for you in south africa um let's see you think one is Canadian and one is British. Yeah, I think the terms of presenters. Yeah, I think they they have a mixture. One from the UK, and one from uh, Canada, or the US. I don't know. We'll find out <laughs> soon enough. Um, ah, there you go. Shortmaster has um, done a bit of research on that. So they're located in Ontario. So they're, in, they're another um, Canadian um, YouTube channel. I get you. Thank you for that, Shortmaster, by the way. Taking the time to uh, to go and have a look with that for us. Um, just to settle that once and for all. <laughs> so, without any further ado, folks, before we get into um, this final experiment in this series, anyway, um, let's talk you through the grid, as it were. Who Who's in pole position and who's where in their classes that are in the live stream chat just now. So we've got Alex Palau on pole position. The uh, 2021 IndyCar champion, followed by Scott Dixon, and uh, uh, Scott Dixon, who, let's face it, is always near the front at some point <laughs> in IndyCar. Elio Castro Neves, the uh, elderly statesman now of the series, in third place, but still very rapid. Uh, Graham Ray Hall fourth, 
Which I think you mentioned to you, didn't, me, uh, didn't you, Crystal, before that you have some friends who are related to uh, to the Ray Halls, if I remember rightly. Um, I think it's friends or family relatives. It's one of them. Anyway, um, in terms of GTE, we have Steedy on pole ahead of Todd in uh, second place, and then um, Joshua Vanstone in third. All in the Michigan EGT, the um, Chevrolet Corvette. Rather than the uh, Ford, which I bet Todd is secretly wishing he was in. <laughs> After what he mentioned during the stream uh, a few moments ago. So, NASCAR pole position goes to Ped Gives Up. He clearly didn't give up. He uh, certainly gave up a fight to get pole position in the end from Dewey. And then LPF in third place. GT4 pole goes to Andy the Lab in the Ford Mustang ahead of Rena May. And uh, Crystal Star in third place. Oh, and Sim Race her, Marin in fourth. So it's an all female top four in GT4, which is um, which is absolutely uh, amazing to see. So the ladies are definitely showing the way in the GT4 class. Anyway, so keep keep your fingers crossed, Crystal. Your bot doesn't act drunk during this. <laughs> anyway, and then finally, um, pole position for the Skip Barber class goes to Helen. Um, vintage Toby's wife on pole. So again, an another female doing rapidly in the uh, in the qualifying ahead of Mysterious and uh, Pierre Racer. Shortmaster, you're in fourth in this one, mate. Um, Shortmaster, sorry, uh, playing the song "Born in the USA," seeing as you're American. <laughs> well, to be fair, uh, Todd will testify to this, and Crystal as well, and anyone else who watches American motorsports. But I'm at the uh, at the start of these races, you know, I should I should play the American national anthem before we proceed, shouldn't I? <laughs> before the start of the race, just to make it more authentic, shall we say this um, this U.S. series that we've uh, that we've been doing, or we can, you know, just sing in our heads, "Born in the USA." That that'll be close, <laughs> or any um, or any equivalent that you guys can think of in the um, in the live stream chat. Just now, so are we ready then? Ladies and gentlemen, to see in this final experiment, to see what 45 laps of um, Portland International Raceway is like for multi-squared class racing. Um, let's see. You watched a video and it looked like the... Ah, uh, uh, oh, this is the throttle house you're thinking, Crystal. Gotcha. Toronto Motorsport Park. That's, an that's another one I haven't heard either. <laughs> to be fair, that's another one. Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I was sort of glossing over that, Matt, Matt, Matt. The fact that she's finished. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't mean she's finished for uh, today's race, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. Bad pun, definitely intended. But, um... <laughs> right, so, I think we're good. Anyway, we're good for fuel. We've got a fuel strategy going. Um, let's see. Todd, you'd prefer if you didn't play the US National Anthem. Born in the USA is more appropriate. <laughs> All right. Well, obviously, I can't play such things, Todd, because of, you know, copyright, copyright, copyright striking and all that, unfortunately. You know, when you play, play music on YouTube, if this was Twitch, I could probably get away with it, but, uh, but not YouTube, unfortunately. Just, you know, sort of sing it in your head as we're going around, <laughs> everyone. Born in the USA, yeah. Born in the USA. <laughs> um, you wish you lived in Finland. Oh, no. There's a lot of us, to be fair, Crystal, that would. It's such a beautiful country. It's, um, it's Finland. The, the people are very friendly as well. And uh, I think it's like... Is it like ranked in the top ten normally of happiest places to live in the world? Somewhere is Finland. Anyway, so... Yeah, and plus you get to do lots of rally driving. Anyway, they they bought their naturals over in Finland, and of course recently as well with um, Kali Rovan Perra as well becoming the um, the the youngest ever world rally champion as well, which is uh, absolutely amazing achievement by uh, by Kali. Um, what flag is Verena? Um, I believe that's Monegasque. Um, Shortmaster, that flag. She's from Monaco. <laughs> If the colours are the other way round, if it was like white and then red, it would be Poland. But uh, I think it's Monaco. That um, that flag is shortmaster. Um, used to live in fi oh my summer car. <laughs> that doesn't quite count, Matt, Matt, Matt. That doesn't quite count. Although you get to the finish experience anyway. Um, 
I'm from Assetto Corsa, too, right? I'm an exclusive, um, exclusive country crystal. <laughs> I'm one of very few people in the world that get the absolute privilege of being part of uh, Assetto Corsa land, shall we say. So, you know, I, I should know this game inside and out by though, shouldn't I? If not, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I am indeed from Assetto Corsa land. So, um... Oh, is it, is it actually Poland, Shortmaster? I thought it was Monica, because I know it's the same colours as well, but it's... I'm not sure which way round, whether it's the white on top or red at the bottom, or vice versa. It's, e it's either Monaco or po Poland. It's one of them. Anyway, oh, I'll just add the confusion, the flags further. <laughs> anyway, right, let's get on with this then, everyone, shall we? So let's go and hit drive, just then we'll get this final experiment in the series underway. So, first gear... Oh, well, I need to turn my volume up. And this uh, experiment around Portland is on the way. No, go, go, go. Well, eventually, when I get this thing off the line, that was easy peasy past the skip barbers. <laughs> Threading it through the middle. Oh, heading down to T1. Hello, Crystal. And then down the inside of uh, Andy the Lab. Watch out for the lava. I will. <laughs> so, really, it's not just the impoundments I've got to watch. I've got to watch the... Uh, Keep an eye on that vol volcano behind us, behind the tram line. Um, oh, you'll be back in a bit. Oh, it's all right, Crystal. Don't you worry. Uh, take all the time you need. I'll, um, I'll, well, come on, Ford. <laughs> there we go. I'll see you very, very shortly, Crystal. Not to worry. But yeah, if um, this is where ideally, folks, I could do with a spot and knowing this, uh, this trouble that we could potentially have with. Um, with a volcano, you know, I uh, I need I need one of you to uh, just to keep your eyes peeled, scope to the left. That we're going to go through the chicane, and then ah, uh, you won't be able to see it anyway. It's far beyond the hills on the left, behind that tram line, where the um, where the volcano is. Ah, uh, in fact, if someone is at, if one of you are in that blimp, good you blimp. Right now, just let me know in the live stream chat what the uh, conditions are like for the ball. Get <laughs> That was almost a murder just then, Steedy. Sorry, Steedy, class leader. Let's see. Oh, it is Monaco, Matt, Matt, Matt. Yeah, I, I thought it would be. I thought it would because I think the um, even though they have the same colours and the same sort of stripes, I think the Monaco flag has the red on the top, whereas um, the Polish flag has it the other way around. The white is on the top of their flag. Oh no, just to add to the confusion further. Map, map, map. But yeah, I thought it was Monaco. I thought, you know... <laughs> see, I thought my knowledge of, um, of flags didn't go out the window just then. <laughs> Crystal, you remember there was an old touring car racing game that had a fake track with lava? Yes, I remember. I remember. It was it was uh, Toka Touring Car Championship Crystal. I remember that game well because there was a cheat code that you could put in to... Um, to unlock this track, this you know, you were literally racing inside a volcano with molten lava <laughs> around you. Oh, I miss that. If I can remember one of the days, if I can find a good emulator, I'll have to, you know, install some old games and see if, you know, we can bring some of these um, features back again. But yeah, it was Toka Touring Car, Crystal, this, um, this particular track, and I'll, I'm not extracting all of the racetrack just then. Um... Are you having stream chat issues? Chat on screen is not showing in chat section. Um, it's working fine for me, Shortmaster, so it must be something your end. Um, hang on, let me just have a look. Wah! Off the grass, as I just appear right... No, it's all appearing fine for me, Shortmaster, so it must be something your end, mate, unfortunately. If you can, try and refresh your stream. I don't know if that'll solve the problem at all, but um, you'll, have to, uh, you'll have to let me know. Oh, I can taste onion. Ugh. Just know. It's all right. I'd had, I've had onion on um, a cheese sandwich earlier, and it's a little bit strong. <laughs> Let's be honest. You know, I can definitely taste it, the after effect. That's for sure. All past the skip barbers. Or, um, oh, <laughs> Hopefully none of you looked in the rear view mirror just then. Oops. 
I um I may have accidentally killed two of the skip barbers. Oops. <laughs> oh yeah, I have. <laughs> oh no. Rip the skip barbers. <laughs> The um, shortmaster, the hitman, has uh, lived up to his reputation once again. In fact, there's not a whole load of skip barbers left. There's two others to the side. Do we? Are we literally like down to one or two skip barbers already? Crikey! Um. <laughs> Rip crystal. Yep. Yeah, thanks to yours truly, the uh, the hitman, the shortmaster, caused me has uh, lived up to his reputation again. Is causing chaos. <laughs> Well and truly. Oh, don't say that, Ed. Oh, crikey. About the Russians. Especially with um, with everything that's going on in the world at the minute. Yikes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay, we'll go past you, Scott McLaughlin. We'll take advantage. <laughs> Around the outside. Oh, speaking of which... Hello, Crystal. <laughs> Just now. Oh, we'd have to sit in behind Andy the Lab in the, in the Mustang. Whoa. Down the inside for another time. Whoops. Almost into the back of Alexander Rossi. So there's Brina May in the lead of the GT4 class, by the looks of things. <laughs> oh, bless you, Crystal. I, I haven't forgotten, by the way, you know, the, uh, the amount of streams that you wasn't here as part of the What If series. I always make sure every time I drive past you I wave to your um, to your AI bot. Every time I uh, every time I drive by you'll have to go back on the uh, on this this series in particular to see how many times I do that. It's gonna be more than double digits by now. What that I've uh, that I've done that. Oh getting very slidey at the rear end. This car can be from time to time if you try and push it out of the limit too much. <laughs> Take out the two front Mustangs for you. Well, if you pay me first, Crystal, I'll uh, I'll do that for you. Don't worry. I'll take out Verena May and Andy the Lab. Either that or I can just slow them down for you so that you can catch up. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. <clears throat> check first, Crystal, before I do that. <laughs> oh, dive down the inside and then around the outside oh yes there are there are a skip this is one skip barber still going ah. <laughs> this is the thing I don't know why but it's always the skip barber that confuses the AI in the Indy car come on <laughs> I'll fine I'll go around the outside of you there we go <laughs> It's like, I don't know, it's like the skid barbers have got the shield around them or something and every time the Indy cars get close, if they're petrified, like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Which side do I go? Do I just sit behind or, you know, or if now in my luck, I'll probably get attacked if I dare put a wheel alongside, yikes. <laughs> right, behind the two Ford GTs, oh, it's a pity they don't raise those anymore in GTE. Mind you, GTE as a whole is dying, unfortunately, as well. Um, good track for Indy. The AI actually has pace. Yeah, around here, what I've found in um, in practice, map, 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 the AIs are pretty quick around here. They're they're just a fraction faster than me, no matter what I uh, no matter what I try to do. They're sneaky <laughs> in terms of finding pace and also finding extra grip where I can't <laughs> on track. But now, I mean, whoa. Okay, we'll go in the inside of Grosjean then. Whoa, or maybe not. He's got me. <laughs> right around the outside again. No. Dastardly French. Let's <laughs> try to sneak their way around the outside <laughs> of me. What is this dick dastardly in front of me? <laughs> um. Bear with me, Matt, 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 as we go through this tricky chicane. And there goes a the tram to the left. You might have spotted it just there. Stop behind the NASCAR. 
Without other cars on track. Ah, oh, I see. <laughs> yes, without other cars, they're absolutely fine, yeah. Oh, bear with me as we go. Is he going to let me race him, room? Yes, we're through. <laughs> he tried to outbreak me, but no, I got him in the end. Nice. Sats us up to third place already. Nice. So we are making progress already all throughout this. Oh, there's one NASCAR, another one abandoned. Oh! <laughs> I've just noticed who it was looking on the scoreboard. Ped gives up. He literally has lived up to his name. <laughs> Oops. I hope Ped isn't watching right now or at any point. Sorry, mate. You've literally lived up to your name there. Um, it's rare for mod tracks. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Because for those of you who are familiar with Assetto Corsa, we'll know how, you know, infamous the AI can... Whoa! I thought he was going to try and take me off then, Grosjean. That's why I sort of outbreak myself the corner. Yeah, um, it doesn't happen very often, really, where you have... Um, the AI drivers can more or less behave in a certain way, a certain man manner, because you know how tricky they can be from time to time in this game. And, yeah, they can be very unpredictable. Hello, Crystal. Oh, I'm literally stuck in the middle. <laughs> I got um, Mysterious to the left of me, Crystal to the right, and here I am stuck in the middle. <laughs> Quite literally. Right, passed over Skip Barber and then passed Andy the Lab. You're in the way. No, never, never, Crystal. Never, never, never. Ooh, almost got in Greener's way just then. So there you go. I could, nearly could have taken one op opponent out for you. <laughs> Crystal. Um, but what was you saying? Let's see. Um, oh, yeah, with regarding to, you know, the behaviour of the AI drivers in Assetto Corsa, it, it can, they can be very unpredictable and it also kind of depends as well on how you s what level you set the aggression as well uh, luckily I've managed to um, I've managed to set the level down even further so um, you know they, they're not as they're not overdriving if you like um, unnecessarily which sort of tames them down a little bit but obviously they still need you know they, they still need a little bit of work here and there but otherwise, not too bad at all. Um, you swear the um, NASCAR 2003 AI is seek revenge. <laughs> well, to be fair, for a NASCAR game, Crystal, they have to re reenact rednecks, you know, <laughs> in, the, in that title. They're the, they're the sort of people who punch first and ask questions later when it comes to crashes and incidents. So they have to try and recreate that in, um, in 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 any NASCAR game. If they didn't, it would uh, it would just be like any other racing simulator, you know, where they whinge and moan. And you have to go to the race stewards afterwards. Whereas, you know, they settle it with fisty cups on the uh, on the racing circuit, you know, throwing punches left, right, and centre <laughs> in NASCAR. Very. This is a very sophisticated way of sorting out a, uh, a racing incident. <laughs> <laughs> oh man I couldn't be like that I couldn't be like that I sort of obviously when you're in a situation like that I mean same thing in sim racing as well it's frustrating to um, to begin with but then you sort of you start to calm down you look at the situation you think oh okay you know maybe maybe it wasn't as bad as I thought or you know you could just you know talk about things in a civilised manner in a civilised way but not in NASCAR. <laughs> Crystal, yeah, briefly, Matt, 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 she did. Oh, oh, uh oh, oh. That was your fault, Matt, Matt, Matt. I overcooked the chicane. <laughs> oh, I've lost second. No. Thanks, Matt, Matt, Matt. I was reading your comment and now I've lost second place. <laughs> oh, dear. But yeah, she did overtake me briefly. Not much. Not much. Um, it was only for like a split second, so she had her moments of glory. 
yeah, where she overtook then until we got to the acceleration point. Bye bye. <laughs> More or less. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Even in a straight line. <laughs> the AI just in the um in the indie cars just stopped you know in front of a skip barber <laughs> they're literally terrified of them so there we are about to start lap 14 in this already it's amazing just how this quick this time is literally flying right now so as we thread through turns one and two and we're not doing the joker lap this time crystal we've avoided that <laughs> let's see here to keep things interesting you do mate you know, either we, you know, cut, uh, knowing a lot of the time we've long comments to uh, distract me, map, map, map from driving, <laughs> or, or or say something which is meant to be factual but isn't in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> oh, there's a gear there somewhere. I couldn't hit the paddle properly. Daniel doesn't know how to operate his wheel anymore. But no, it's always. Uh, no matter what it is, uh, everyone, you know, whether it's my driving or things that happen in the game or having you folks here, it's always interesting, it's always fun, that's for sure. That's why I enjoy doing this, even like, you know, for these fun experiments that we do as part of these uh, series. Deep on the brakes, so give us our position back. <laughs> So, which side? Oh, that's brave. That's that's the side I should have gone. Really, well done, Rossi. But I've got the I've got the line now. <laughs> Sneaky around the outside. So there's Grosjean. And oh look, Crystal! Come on, Crystal! Help block Grosjean for me. Go, go, go! No, darn it! <laughs> I'm having words with you later, Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Hello, <laughs> by the way. Past the other, past the other uh, Cor uh, Ford Mustang. I think you said Corvette. Oh no, Verena May is holding me up now. Come on, Verena. <laughs> by the way, folks, for those of you who um, who know Verena May, um, really good friend of mine. She's actually taking part. Um, when's the sixth of? October. It's in a in three days' time. She's um, participating in a um, in an event in the west coast of America. It's called the Rebel Rally. Um, it's a bit like I say. It's a bit like Dakar Rally, except it's it's not a time event. It's like a um, whoops. It's like a checkpoint type rally that she's uh, participating in, and it's literally open to all female crews. It's the um, it's the Rebel Rally. She did it last year and um, I finished second in the X Cross class, which is uh, absolutely amazing. So, you know, I, I just want to take this opportunity to wish Verena and her co driver, Tana White, the very best of luck for, um, for the upcoming Rebel Rally. And I hope that she has, you know, an amazing time on this latest adventure of hers and hope she kicks ass, <laughs> well and truly, on the, um, on the Rebel Rally. I hope she does a. Um, an amazing job and for those of you who want to you know check her progress you can either check her on socials um Verena may or you can check out the rebel rally youtube channel uh there'll be live streams of the um of the event as it's ongoing so you can you know check to see how Verena and how everyone else is doing as well and if you want to know how to, how to look for it rebel it's spelled r-e-b-e-double-l-e -L -E. Uh, Rebel Rally, that's what it's called. If you, um, if you folks want to check it out, to, you know, keep progress, keep tabs of how um, how Verena May is doing the uh, in the upcoming event, starting the sixth of October. So in a few days' time, not long to go. Let's see, Matt, Matt, Matt. Fun fact: all Matt thirteen comments are one hundred percent true. <laughs> I doubt that very much. I doubt that, Matt, Matt, Matt. Yeah, I've been telling, yeah, the, 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 the old fib here and there. Let's be honest, that's not completely true. <laughs> if I know you, mate, if I know you at all. Um, 
Oh, I've just noticed we're in the lead. Nice. So we're at the front right now. We've 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 survived all of our dramas, and we're um, we're in the lead of this one, mate. Whoa, amazing. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, it's called getting to know your community map, map, map. That's what it is. <laughs> knowing their, um, knowing their habits by now, <laughs> and what you guys, um, what you guys are up to. You know, I know, I know that's particularly Todd. If you're still watching Todd, I bet you've had another um, interesting weekend over at the tattoo parlor. Any, any more interesting stories from the weekend, or has it been more or less a, um, a quiet one for you, dude? Although it hasn't really got to the interesting point yet, I can imagine for you, Todd. We've um, we've getting that tattoo for uh, for Bristol and Co. <laughs> and Matt, Matt, Matt. I can just imagine you now. Your your, your eyes are on stalks. You, you know, you're, you're intense. You're sitting there with the um, with the needles, waiting, anticipating to get um, to get crystals and uh, Matt, Matt, Matt's tattoos done. <laughs> I bet really it's been Matt, Matt, Matt's dream to have a, uh, a, a larder tattoo, really. Despite the joking around, secretly he wants one. Whoa! <laughs> that was a bit sketchy, that oversteer moment. Just then, just about caught it. Now coming up to, uh, to Marin, Sim Racer. Down the inside. Now for this tricky chicane again, see if you can spot the uh, tram on the left. There you go, I spotted it briefly. Ah, a bit wide, a bit wide. Uh oh, here comes Alexander Rossi. No, you're not staying in the position from me, matey boy. <laughs> so it won't be long now, everyone, before we make our one and only pit stop in this. So, of course, the Indy cars, we're not able to make the race without stopping. Hello, Crystal, for fuel. Oh, GT4 has closed up quite a bit. There we go. So you are gaining, Crystal. Oh, there goes Scott McLaughlin. That's, that's him out. <laughs> of this. Oh, and another skip barber bites the dust just then. Shortmaster. Oh, I'll keep forgetting this hairpin is second gear, not first. There we go. Are you still there, Todd? Just out of curiosity. I don't know if you um, if you heard my question or not, but you know, any interesting stories from the tattoo shop parlour that you want to share with us over the weekend? Uh, it should it should really become like a, a feature on the channel or podcast, as it were. The uh, the adventures of Todd and the pat and the tattoo parlour. <laughs> There's a snap. There's a bit of a snazzy title, right there. Or, or, or no, no, Harry Potter esque. So it would be Todd Stimpson and the uh, and the tattoo parlor. <laughs> Something along those lines. Anyway, unless anyone else in the chat can think of a better title than uh, than that. Something you know, it's got to be something Harry Potter esque or something like that. Speaking of which, uh, speaking of the devil, pass, passing Todd right now in the um, GTE Corvette. Oh, there's the warning light in the top left, so we're going to need to pit soon. Whoa, that was close. But now, this is a good fun race track. I do love this. And hopefully you guys do as well on the, um, on the chat as well. Have, have many of you actually driven round Portland in sim before? Just out of curiosity, or is, uh, or do we have um, Portland virgins in the uh, in the live stream chat that have never driven here yet? Just out of curiosity, I was until today. This is literally like first time for me round here. Oh, that's close. <laughs> With LPF, very, very close. Oops. 
Oh, you drove around the streets of Portland, Maine. Ah, I get you, Crystal. And you mentioned it earlier, didn't you? That's right. About, um, there's a tram again to the left. You didn't mention earlier, didn't you, about driving around Portland, Maine. Is it a, um, I should imagine it is. It's a, is it a beautiful place, just out of curiosity? Anything, um, anything of interest that you, um, that caught your eye, Crystal, on your, uh, on your trip to Portland? Obviously, probably, you know, <laughs> probably nothing multi-support related. Oh, it's a little town. Oh, I get you. So it's like a, a facsimile of this Portland, if you know what I mean, but miniature. <laughs> no, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. I mean, it doesn't mean to say that it isn't as beautiful or can be just as beautiful, but, you know, because it, it definitely is. Whoops. Front end slide on the car just then. <laughs> very, very tiny. So definitely now, uh, so definitely nothing motorsport related then, Crystal. No race tracks, no museums of any kind, no car museums. <laughs> right, so let's box, box, box for fuel and tyres. Let's see, uh, how are we doing for fuel? Well, I can reduce the fuel a bit, not much. There we go, that should... Oh, hang on, I forgot it's a 45 lap race, so we'll need a bit more than that. We'll, we'll be literally running on fumes at the end if I just did it. <laughs> a little more. And stop, there we go. Doesn't matter about the, you know, tyres getting flat spots or anything. And just like that, go, 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 back into the race. Oh, oh we've lost the lead to Castro Neves, no. The elderly statesman. <laughs> I'd be gutted if I lost to, uh, to someone as ancient as Castro Neves. How old is he now? Is he like 74 years old, still racing in NASCAR, um, in IndyCar? <laughs> I'm only kidding, by the way. He's not, he, he, I know he's in his 40s. I know that much, Castro Neves. Um, but I, you know, it's amazing to fact that he's still going and still very, very competitive in... Um, in a single seat series. Sorry, Todd, for the tap. Just then, in a series like IndyCar. Um... <laughs> Crystal, it's not that I forgot about the ice cream. I didn't have time to uh, to get the ice cream. You forget, it's not like a GT car where the tyres take a little while to uh, to change. So you have plenty of time to um, to top up with uh, something nourishing, like a, a nice piece of ice cream. <laughs> Plus, you know, I've got to try and somehow tuck it through the visor, you know, this ice ice cream cone. <laughs> Can you imagine that? One-handed, you know, driving an Indy car and eating an ice cream at the same time. That would be quite something. Although, how would he get it through his visor without, you know, the ice cream splattering all over his eyes? Oh, I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> Because of Crystal's suggestion of eating an ice cream whilst driving an Indy car. Not a good idea. <laughs> oh, oh. Naughty, naughty Castro Neves. Spitting out uh, Dewey in the NASCAR. <laughs> oh, dear me. Brakes, let's turn it in. And we're close to the leader, so we'll try and take advantage while we can. Oh, you love it, do you, Matt, Matt, Matt? Nice. No, so you usually drive the old VRC Chevette. Ah, gotcha. Nice. Sorry, I'll have to break early because I was concentrating on reading your question, um, your comment there, Matt, Matt, Matt. Hello, Crystal. Go on, go, go. <laughs> okay, we'll dive inside, we'll take advantage. We're in the lead. <laughs> Thank you, Andy the Lab, for holding up. Elio Castro Neves, who's the um, cheating, murdering so-and-so. <laughs> killing, uh, killing Dewey in the NASCAR. So, oh, down to this hairpin again. Second gear, we'll turn it in. Oh, okay, I've noticed we're on the hard tyre. I thought it was a soft that I'm on. Oh, well, we'll take it either way. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Indeed, it's surprising, isn't it, Crystal? Just then, how an indie car 
can um, uh, can literally rip a um, rip a car. Let's face it, in terms of weight, it's like the Empire State Building in comparison <laughs> to an Indy car. Such a head. Whoa! Oops! <laughs> who did I uh, who did I accidentally? Oh, it was mysterious in the skip bar. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, at least he's still going anyway, so he hasn't given up on like Ped <laughs> early in the race. I I'm not kidding you. I looked away, turned round. What? There was nothing in front of me, and then all of a sudden, this bright pink skip barber just came out of nowhere. <laughs> I didn't have time to react or do anything. It just suddenly came in a, you know, literally in a flash. <laughs> Oh no, there's Dewey parked to the side, so bad on Elio Castro Neves. Um, it was too close to see, but the problem is as well, you've got the halo in front of me as part of the um, the aero screen, so you literally, when you're going at speed compared to the skip barber crystal, you can't see anything. <laughs> so like I say, one minute the car was there and then all of a sudden, just literally straight in front of me, couldn't do anything. <laughs> about it that's why in the last episode when we raced around um, Pocono around the oval circuit we um, I had to get rid of the skip barbers altogether because of the speed difference between them and um, and the indie cars was frightening I think just to give you some comparison the indie cars were going over a hundred no they were going more than 200 miles an hour, close to 220 miles an hour around Pocono, and yet the Skip Barber cars were doing, I'd say maximum 120, 130 of that. So with that much of a difference, you can imagine them, it's more scary. <laughs> it would have been, Crystal. And, and the size of the aeroplane crash, it wouldn't be small, that's for sure. It would, uh, it would be almighty big. <laughs> You'd literally see cars taking off left, right, and centre. You know, some of the weird glitches you get in this game, the weird um, crash physics. <laughs> and bouncy suspension, quite literally. Like it's on. Um, you know, like the cars have been fitted with hydraulic suspension, just bouncing. <laughs> bouncing along. So what we'll do now, folks, I've been rabbiting on for quite a while, haven't I? So I'll give you one silent lap in this um, indie car, and then uh, normal service will resume <laughs> shortly. It's not very often, to be honest. You get the chance to hear this for a whole lap at full volume, so we'll do that. So as we go through the chicane, fast all the way through. So here we go, everyone. Here's an ASMR lap of the uh, Portland circuit. So here we go. Okay, what I meant to say was, is it ASMR plus murder laugh? <laughs> oh no, I've done, I've done a Castro Neves. No. <laughs> oh no, I'm, I'm on the naughty step now, aren't I? After that as well. <laughs> oh well. Right, we'll try the next lap, shall we? For an ASMR lap without any kills, <laughs> any blunders. <laughs> right, so let's try again. Take two, if this was Hollywood. Bang up. Sorry, Dewey. <laughs> so, take two.
Well, there we go, folks. One full lap in silence of the uh, Indy car around Portland. And you may have noticed then, Crystal, you know, because I was doing an ASMR thing, I couldn't say hello <laughs> out loud. That's why I was literally doing my um, Charlie Chaplin impression, waving to you and talking <laughs> in silence. Or my best miming impression. There we go. <laughs> That's what I meant. So we're in the lead. I've just noticed we've got past of um, Castro Neves. So that's good. <laughs> so we've got to try and sort of stay there now, providing you know we don't get killed by more um, skip barbacar, which is a guarantee <laughs> in this. Especially if they just appear out of nowhere. Crikey, O'Reilly! It's like they they suddenly whoops. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Oh, I've just tagged the wall as well. Uh, uh, losing concentration. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no. So that's two NASCARs I've killed in this. So, in this race, we're short of skip barbers and NASCARs. <laughs> go on, you can take the position back. There we go. Although, the... In a lapping situation here. Blue flag, blue flag. <laughs> well, uh, we come, uh, in fact, it's interesting just thinking while we're sitting behind Colton Herter, in a way, it's um, it's kind of a shame to be honest with you because of the, uh, as I'm sure you might have um, might have seen in the news recently about, uh, about general Formula One and all that because of the super points, super license points in. Uh, in the sport, unfortunately, it means that um, that he's not able to find a drive in uh, in Formula One. Unfortunately, which is a shame because Colton Erta definitely does have the um, commitment and talent to be in uh, to be in F1. But unfortunately, the, uh, if you if you're not too aware of uh, how it all works, unfortunately, the super license points is a bit screwed in. Um, in IndyCar, because the, the drivers have a period of, I think it's three or four years, I think, they have to accumulate um, up to 40 points, depending on where they finish in the um, uh, in the championship, but unfortunately, over a certain period, um, Cole didn't amount enough, because the, the amount of points that they do get for IndyCar is... Um, is a lot less than something like the feeder series, junior series for um, for Formula One, so F2, F3, and F4, unfortunately. So, I mean, what do you guys think? Um, for those of you who have maybe have a bit of a deeper knowledge about um, about this kind of thing, about the formulas, do you do you think that you know, even without the whoops, even without this issue, the super license points that um, Colton Herter deserves a shot in um, in Formula One. What do you uh, what do you guys think about that? I think he does. You know, I've, he's certainly got the um, tenacity and the uh, the commitment and the determination, as well as the talent to uh, to be in F1. Anyway, but unfortunately, because as I mentioned, because of the um, the how the point situation works, he's not able to um, to get into the sport. Unfortunately, but what do you guys think in the chat? Do you think that um, Colton deserves to be in F1, and uh, do you reckon he'll do a good job in um, in the series or not? Is anybody anybody here still? <laughs> I hope. There we go, across the line, complete the 36 lap. No, start lap 36, sorry, that's what I meant. Whoa, that was close. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Somehow made that stick. Sorry, Todd, and hello, Crystal. Another time. Oh, that was close to disaster. I felt the touch as we were going into that corner. 
<laughs> Just then. That was that was very very close indeed. I'm guessing that nobody's still here then. If um... okay, so I, I, I guess I just sort of pointed my um, thoughts about the situation for, uh, for Colton Erdman, but okay. So we're about to start lap 37, so we're not too far now, folks, to the end of the um, end of the race. So on lap 37. Oh, bear with me, map, map, map. We'll just get through this section first, and then I'll. Uh, I'll catch up to you now, dude. Hang on. Ooh, a bit of understeer. Around the skip barber too. So, currently behind Alex Palau, which we're about to lap shortly. Um, nobody deserves a spot in F1 when they could all compete for a spot in a Goodwood Revival. <laughs> That's true. Matt, Matt, Matt. Yeah, I noticed that... Um, some of the regulars from America met it to Goodwood, didn't they? The, um, at the revival meeting the other weekend. <laughs> but yeah, I suppose that's true. Although, is that really fair though, Matt, Matt, Matt? Different period of cars, they, uh, they drive differently. <laughs> you couldn't imagine, you know, putting a Formula One driver from the 60s into a modern day car, for example, or vice versa. And expect to uh, expect to do really well. It's like anything, really. It just takes time. You know, it's not something that you're going to pick up in five minutes to know how to uh, to drive a newer car or an older car. I mean, the fact that you know I've been doing this for well, very very sneaky by Alex Pillow could have been disastrous just then. How dare you! Oh, bear with me. I'll catch up on you now. Just trying to... What? Really, Alex? Ah! That wasn't very friendly by Alex Pillow, was it? He was determined to try and make that stick around the outside just then. Instead, just pointed us straight off. <laughs> um... Let's see. Imagine a race like that, but with only F1 drivers. You wouldn't watch any... Whoa! Matt, 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 you've done it again. <laughs> Your long comments have put me off. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you could... Um, I, I don't think, you know, I don't think I would watch anything else, to be honest. I mean, if you put modern day F1 drivers in old F1 cars from the 50s for example, that would be you know, intriguing fun to watch you know, seeing people like Hamilton, Verstappen, Alonso uh, Vettel and co um, in cars like Maseratis and Ferraris and um, BRMs and uh, Lotuses Van Walls ERA, I think, was an early manufacturer in uh, F1. As well, Alfa Romeo. <laughs> yeah, you could literally, you know, you could literally use your imagination to figure out what it'd be like. Yeah, imagine, instead of, you know, using hands device as well, and uh, modern crash helmets, they'd have, like, leather helmets and goggles, <laughs> just to make it more authentic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That wasn't scary just then, just the rear end getting slidey. And yeah, we did hit the wall thanks to uh, Alex Pillow, Matt, 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 unfortunately. Let's see. You would have plenty of time to read on that straight, to read the chat in the 50s. <laughs> I would, yeah. Not in, not in something like a modern day F1 car or Indy car. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, even in a, in a modern GT car, I'd still have plenty of time, Matt, 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 to read um, the chat as I'm driving along. Not in, um, 
not a, it's something as rapid as these. Or in actually, while I think about it, not in something like the Porsche 919 Evo either. The car that literally blitzed the Nordschleife record. Because by the time you got there to the last corner, two seconds later, you'd be breaking for turn one. <laughs> in something like the 919 Evo, you'd be whoop, gone. Like a rocket ship. One corner, one second. The next, you're uh, literally hard braking into the next one. Whoops. Hello, Crystal. For another time. So, we're not too far from the end now, everyone. Just um, four more laps to go after this. And then our uh, latest experiment will be done and dusted. Passed down to the lab, still in second place. In GT4. There's our current leader, Vrina May. The Rebel Rally Superstar. I'm just trying to think what other cars Matt, Matt, Matt would, wouldn't, you know, allow you enough. Whoops. Whoa. That was clumsy. <laughs> Oops, sorry. No, 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 I can't. <laughs> oh, no, I'm stuck on the curb. Come on, come on. <laughs> no, no. Uh oh, my lead's going to vanish. No, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's, it's literally a fight to the death now, everyone. <laughs> oh no, Pedref. <laughs> I couldn't move because the GTE was willing to stay there, not budge at all. And then when it finally moved, when I hit reverse, it got caught on the curb when I was trying to reverse. It was wedged. <laughs> so I couldn't go backwards, so I had to go move forwards again. <laughs> Box, box, nah, nah, the car's fine, we won't need to box Pedro. <laughs> We're just in a, you know, it's going to be tense now for the last few laps with Rossi on my tail. <laughs> um, Larden wouldn't get stuck on that, oh, here we go. <laughs> Matt, 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 these are nothing like Larders. Larders are shit boxes, they wouldn't, um, they wouldn't have the same, they're not even in the same league as these indie cars. It's just, you know, unfortunate circumstances, one of those things that happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would, wouldn't get stuck on the curb, but neither would something like your Ford Focus, for example, or an Aston Martin. Particularly if it's the, uh, if it's the DBX, the new 707, which I would love to have. No, Todd's retired, no, Todd. <laughs> He was in a podium position for such a long time, but now he's out the race. That's gutting. Oh, Matt, 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 I wish I could show that. Sorry, mate, I don't know where all of a sudden my moderators have gone. Crystal, short master. Ugh. Sorry, mate. Some say a shitbox couldn't drive over a curb. Yeah, the larder couldn't. <laughs> there we go, penultimate lap in this so can we actually keep it on the isle, island without any troubles at all in this i hope not but we'll wait and see soon enough as long as we just keep focused and concentrated we can uh, end this series on a high with victory yeah starting from last to first well okay not quite last 31st to last they uh 31st to last 31st to oh 31st to 1st, there you go, that's what I meant. That's where we started in this um, experiment, but I can't be too comfortable because there's Rossi in my rear view mirror, no! Oh, this is going to be a tense final lap. Ah, not to worry about Matt, Matt, that's alright mate. <laughs> so here we go, through the final turn. Oh, is he going to make it pass safely? No, he's been delayed a bit, yes! Right, here we go, folks. Final lap. Can we hold them off? Can we uh, hold off Mr. Rossi? Hopefully the car will let me as well. Unlike a couple of laps ago when it just rotated right round. 
Uh, through that chicane safely. Oh, come on, nearly halfway through the lap. Oh no, we've had a lock up. Just run wide on entry. Oh, he's closing in. Oh, this is tense. <laughs> Don't look in the rear view mirror, just look straight ahead. That's where the destination is. So, going through the chicane. No. Just throw the car in, thread it in. And then through the final turn, and provided we can get out smoothly, we've done it. Just, woohoo! There we are, everyone. Experiment complete around Portland. And we've gone from 31st to 1st. Whoop, whoop! <laughs> Despite the last minute scare at the end, we've done it. Uh, that wasn't that wasn't tense. <laughs> Much. Oh crikey! Just when that moment happened, then and I got stuck on the curb. I thought that was it, kaput. <laughs> In terms of my chances, in that. Um, Matt, Matt, Matt. Oh yeah, you forgot. You can't write box in this box. Ah, you can't know because Crystal's just showed it. Thank you, Crystal. <laughs> I was wondering where my moderators have gone. Mind you, where have my moderators been this past week or so? I've had all kinds of comments I couldn't show <laughs> on stream. I had to sort of, you know, provide evidence that, you know, that, that, that it was there, evident that I could, you know, see it. <laughs> but fireworks, if this was ACC Crystal, I would, um, it would be on full display right now. Or if it was night time, actually, around Portland. But unfortunately, as we know... Indy cars don't have lights, so, you know, it'd be hard to do a night race around here. Although, I haven't checked, actually, to see if, you know, if the lamps around here are fully lit, if they do light the racetrack. We'll have to try that very, very shortly before we end the stream. Could, could, could we have actually raced around here at night and had full fireworks? <laughs> Who knows? We'll find out, you know, just before the end. Um, P1 Pedref, yep. Whoop, whoop. Just... <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't easy, that's for sure. It could have gone disastrously wrong in that, you know, we've, um, where, where we got wedged and stuck on the curb in the last few laps. But thankfully, it all worked out just fine. There was, you know, there was no need to be tense all the way through that. I was very, <laughs> very tense. <laughs> Crystal, um, you put a low. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Um, let's see. Those comments were mostly from you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Knowing you, Matt, Matt, Matt. Well, uh, fastest lap. Good question. Uh, did I get the fastest lap, Pedref? Let's have a look. No, I didn't get the fastest lap in the end. That belongs to, um, Alex Pillow. 1 minute 2.1. The fastest lap. That's like overall time as we, um, as we cross the line, Pedref. No, my, my fastest lap time was a little bit slower than that. I say, I say a little bit. What I meant was a lot. <laughs> I didn't have a clean lap in that race, to be fair, Pedro. Every lap I caught traffic, even um, at the very beginning. So, you know, if it was like the early laps where there was nothing around, I might have had a chance to get fastest lap, but not, not to worry. We, we won the main prize, which is winning it. That's the main thing. <laughs> the important thing. So... Before we, you know, go and just try this quick experiment before uh, uh, completing the stream. Let's go show you the results, shall we, of each individual class. So we won outright. Yay. Very tense for uh, Alexander Rossi in second. Scott Dixon third. Elio Murderous Castro Neves fourth. <laughs> Alex uh, uh, Ramon Grandjean fifth. Alex Pelot sixth. And Colton Herter, who, you know, does deserve a chance to be in F1, seventh. Um... Matt, 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 you'll be pleased to know, mate, just before we, um, just after I mentioned that Steedy won GT from Joshua, you're the winner of NASCAR, mate, you're in the Hyper RSS Hyperion 20, which is the previous generation NASCAR, so well done, Matt, 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 on your victory in class, uh, let's see, third place belongs to Eliza in GTE, so good job, Eliza's bot, and then GT4, Oh, Crystal, you missed out. Oh, 
You got beaten by Annalise Riot towards the end. I'm not sure what happened, but she caught and overtook you. You were sitting in third place for a while. Close to um close to Verena May and Andy the Lab, but oh Annalise pipped you. <laughs> so she denied you a podium, did Annalise? I'll be sure to contact her later and show, you know, how displeased you are. <laughs> um but Significantly, it's an all-female top five in uh, GT4 as well, with Sim Racer in fifth. So, and you're not last. <laughs> that's absolutely right, Crystal. You're definitely not last. So that's something to celebrate. Whoop whoop. <laughs> and then finally, the uh, winner of um, well, the only survivors of um, of the Skip Barber class are Shortmaster and uh, Mysterious. So. It's a pity that Shortmaster isn't here still. So, congrats, Shortmaster, from um, Mysterious GT86. And that's about it. Everyone else was either ripped or fell by the wayside. Or, in um, Ped's case, just gave up. <laughs> very, very easily. In that one. So, uh, just before we finish, folks. I mean, you mentioned just now, Crystal, about... Um, about fireworks, so we'll just go and change a couple of things quickly in AC to see if you can indeed race around here at uh, at night time. I haven't tried. I was tempted, to be honest, with um, uh, you know, to see if you could have like full effect fireworks and everything, but not quite. So I didn't quite have chance to uh, to do that. So we're going to practice, and then we'll change the in-game time to. 9 p.m. or very close to. There we go. That'll do. That'll be full time effect, right? <laughs> Hopefully. So, we'll go in again and see, you know, whether it is actually possible to do night driving around here. Whether you can still have, you know, the full effect of the fireworks just for you, Crystal. <laughs> on, um, on stream. Uh-oh. It's not looking good. It's looking very dark in the pit lane. I'm guessing not with this mod. To be honest. Oh, it's not dark enough. What? <laughs> it's not dark enough. Hang on. We might have to change it to midnight instead to be on the safe side. <laughs> so where are we? 10, 11. 11.59. That's close enough to midnight. Oh, can I swing it the other way around? There, yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Try again. Take two. <laughs> In this, so I thought since this is the last one in the um, in the series that we're doing, we'll, we'll see if we can um, you know drive around here and not. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I think that's a convincing answer, is? <laughs> yeah, as I suspected. As I oh, hang on, it's been lit a bit. I don't know if you saw them from the fireworks. Just then. There you go. I've got firework power to help me. <laughs> Around the track. Hang on. We can't see it in the rear view mirror either. So it's somewhere behind me. Hang on. If I escape at the pit. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, I've got to try a lap shortly. I've got to try a lap. Oh, oh I've missed them all together. There you go, Crystal. There you go. Let's turn the virtual mirror off. Where are we? Ta da <laughs> Full firework on display. Oh, that's beautiful. Mind you, can we get a good camera angle of this? Let's have a look. Um, if I reverse a bit further back. Oh, I can't reverse further back. I can't see where I'm going. Larders also have lights. Bad one. <laughs> Typical. I knew you. I knew you'd mention the larder phrase again, Matt. 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 Although, can I um, can I actually do a lap around here without any lights? We'll find out. Sure. Just now. Uh oh. Yeah. Ow! That was a wall. <laughs> can we rely on the um? Can we actually rely on the? I've come. I think I've got rid of the game. <laughs> Oops. We're going rally crossing. Uh, I'm having to try and rely on the trap map as I'm going around. So if I stay within. 
Oh, this is interesting. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, it's a good job I'm not going at full racing speed. Whoa. Okay, I'm still off-roading. Look, fireworks. <laughs> but yeah, as I suspected, I, I, I wanted to try and see if I could, you know, turn this into a night race. But unfortunately, you know, no source of lighting around the circuit. And of course, Indy cars. No headlights. It's going to be uh, very, very tricky. As we found out. Right, okay. It goes right here somewhere. There we go. And now, can we go full speed? This will be easy. Just a fireworks simulation in AC is better than some entire games out there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Although, oh. Oh, dear. I appear to have spun. <laughs> Although, to be fair, I think ACC does look incredible at the end of every race when the fireworks go off. I think that's really, like, the only exception. But, um... Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> so, instead... Where are we? Where are we? There we go. We'll just, we'll just give you... To finish the stream off, we'll just give you a full view of the uh, fireworks on display. There we go in the background. You can't see the Indy car, it's literally like nothing in front of you. <laughs> right now. Just the fireworks, yeah, it, it, do, it, it does look beautiful. In fact, we'll go back onto the start finish straight and uh, get a better view of that. So let's see, I've got the wheel up, so at least I can see the, the dashboard, so that's good. Let's see if I can get a closer up view of, um, of the fireworks. The track's here somewhere. There we go. There we go. Wow. Doesn't that look incredible, everyone? Whoa. Except when I hit the pit entry wall. <laughs> oh, no. I'm guessing it's the pit entry wall that I've just hit. There we go. Yep. <laughs> right, so we'll just park it up. And just watch the magic happen. In fact, just to make it the experience full even further, we'll turn the entire display off. There we go. So you can just see the fireworks in full motion. Um, Matt, Matt, Matt. First time you found out there was a firework at AC was playing AC on New Year's a few years back. It was. Yeah, I can imagine for you, as, as it was for us, Matt, 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 a very pleasant surprise when, um, when we found out that this function was available thanks to... Uh, um, yeah, thanks to Content Manager, you know, the fact that we've got this feature now where you can, you know, more or less have <laughs> full weather effects in the game. I mean, you can have, you know, as you can see, these wonderful fireworks display in the background as well. You could literally, like, spend an entire stream just watching that, can't you? You could sit back, lay back with some popcorn, and we'll just, you know, talk and uh, chatter away just watching the fireworks go off. <laughs> the only thing really you don't hear you know it's a pity there's no sound effects you can hear of the fireworks you know being fired into the air and then exploding in the in the night sky it's a pity that uh, that they don't have that then again would you be able to hear it over a race car engine who knows to be honest um who knows but yeah that just does look beautiful doesn't it um oh yeah stormy clouds as well map 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 yeah absolutely I mean, it's just incredible now how, you know, AC has evolved through, you know, all this third-party content. It just, uh, visually, it just looks stunning, doesn't it? Absolutely incredible. So, <laughs> so, so much realism, though. Um, with lightning, yeah, absolutely. You can, uh, you can have the full effect of uh, lightning in there as well, can't you, Matt, Matt, Matt? Although, let's be honest, in terms of, uh, it's, uh, I mean, just looking at this right now, in terms of visuals, I don't think anything, you know, weather-wise could even beat these fireworks, could they? It's just so mythical and magical to uh, to look at on stream. Just a pity, you know, you can't see the rest of the racetrack, but, you know, <laughs> right now, because they're having no lights. But I think, you know, this that we're seeing more than makes up for that, to be honest. Wow does look stunning but ah there you are crystal <laughs> in fact i'm blocking some of it right there there we go i was wondering where you got to i'd literally tried to do um 
like an entire an entire lap of the circuit uh, in the darkness because as you can see there's no lighting around the circuit I thought why not you know end the stream just having a bit of relaxation time watching the um, beautiful fireworks on display and you like stormy clouds as well yeah I do that it, it does look um, visually stunning doesn't it in uh, in a Seto Corsa but as I was saying I bet you know nothing beats this does it <laughs> to be fair um, Portland Oregon is dark no kidding <laughs> no kidding crystal I, uh, I I wanted to test and see, you know, if the circuit had any lighting around it. But I mean, some mods do um, when it comes to nighttime driving. But unfortunately, it seems that this track isn't one of them. Even though you've got um, lighting out, lighting all around the uh, the outer perimeter of the circuit, which is a bit of a shame. But hey, it doesn't take anything away from this, does it? Just the uh, the visual delight that you're seeing on screen right now with the uh, fireworks but I thought just for you Crystal and Matt 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 and everyone else watching you know we'd finish off by um, by looking at this beautiful dis wow look at that big explosion <laughs> just then we, 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 I bet watching this our eyes are like you know that other of a feline a kitty cat you know when they um, get entranced by um, by something their eyes are just like on stalks aren't they that's what ours are like <laughs> watching this um, imagine how many AC players out there don't even know this is a feature I know you you'd be surprised just how many of they are it, if it wasn't for like um, if it wasn't for like a stream that I did last year I wouldn't have known this feature either map 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 but I'm glad that I do know because I mean look at that <laughs> so so majestic so beautiful just got all the different colors in the sky <laughs> Stunning. Is this with the game or with the mod thing? It's um, it's part of um, I think I shared it with you, Crystal, if I remember rightly. Um, it's it's part it's a feature in Content Manager, um, which I know that you haven't got still, if I remember rightly. You're still yet to install. You're literally like the only AC player in the world that's yet to install Content Manager, <laughs> Crystal. But you should do, believe me, for if from everything we've experienced in this, you should definitely get Content Manager um, for a set of courses, because you'd just be amazed how much more it just advances this game in terms of the visuals, but also with some of the features involved as well. It just um, it just completely transforms it. It's amazing. It's, um, it's Content Manager. If I remember right, if I remember after the stream, I'll share a link with you in um, on Discord when you get the chance, Crystal, to uh, to catch up on that. I know you've been away a lot recently as well, so um, when if I, after the stream, I've, you know, with se several other things I've got to look at <laughs> as well, I'll uh, I'll definitely do that for you. I'll um, I'll share a link with you for. Uh, for content manager and if I remember rightly if I can remember how to activate you know the um, the fireworks magic trickery wizardry Merlin feature <laughs> I'll call it the Merlin feature there we go because it is it, it is wizardry there we go I'll um, I'll share it with you so hopefully you um, I bet really if you were to watch this a bit like us right now you'd just be see there eyes on stalks just looking at it for hours on end not do anything <laughs> forget the driving bit just uh, we'll just concentrate on looking at the fireworks instead <laughs> in this game oh yes soul manage uh, soul weather mod you'll need as well yeah absolutely you'll definitely um you'll definitely need that as well crystal if you want to you know have the proper weather effects that we're getting in the um in the game as well so there we are folks i hate to uh you know cut things short and all that but if it was up yeah you know, if it was up to me we'd be spending like the next two or three hours just watching fireworks <laughs> on screen but i thought i'd just you know show it you just before um you know before we finish today's stream i like weather i think we all do you know if there was no weather there'd be trouble crystal <laughs> Everything will be just be like Portland that you'd see right now. It'd be pitch black. You can't see a thing. 
<laughs> so yes, it's important. We need weather. Mm. We do need weather. <laughs> Scientific facts right there. For those of you who, uh, who don't know about that, they don't call me Professor Dan for nothing. <laughs> I wish. I wish. But anyway there, folks, um, this, this has been a really good, fun one to do. It's the final episode in the series, as it were. So I'd like to say, uh, oh, hang on. You like weather just as long as it's not simulating summer heat. Well, you, <laughs> you're not going to feel the summer heat in the simulator, Matt, Matt, Matt. So you think you'll be fine. Well, not unless you wear one of those vest things, you know, where you can crank up the temperature on them. I shouldn't fancy that. But... Um, but anyway there, folks, thank you again for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you've enjoyed today's um, live stream, please be sure to hit the like button for uh, for the stream itself. And uh, if you're new to the channel as well, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you'll be notified of my future videos and streams on the, um, on the channel. Well, the streams that we've got left this week. Anyway, and we'll be back tomorrow anyway, because we literally got, a, as I mentioned at the start of the stream, we've got a jam-packed week ahead of us. But tomorrow should be a really exciting one, because we are literally going to be playing the new release, which is um, Dakar Desert Rally for uh, for the PC. So it's release day tomorrow, so I can't wait to try that. And hopefully you guys will um, look forward to that as well and finally if C after like nearly four years of development if it's a good game or not hopefully fingers crossed your PC simulates summer heat just as well <laughs> well to be fair mine does as well with all the heat that's been dispensed from it Matt 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 yeah when it's at uh, when it's at full chat <laughs> full pelt you're literally like sitting in a sauna and when you're uh, racing and driving along it's very uncomfortable after a while but then again it's I suppose it's like that for short master um, in South Africa right now, you know, now that it's, it's transi transitioning from winter to spring and then into summer. So he's going to feel it soon. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Matt, Matt, Matt. It's the um, da Dakar Desert Rally stream. Um, I'm looking forward to that, actually. It's just something completely different uh, on the channel. And I've always had, like, an interest in the Rally Raid series, anyway. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it turns out to be a really good title. Um, but there's only one way to find out, of course, on the channel tomorrow. Don't forget. <laughs> um, I'm glad you can't wait, Matt, Matt, Matt. And yet, Crystal, we've got a different sort of rally, a sandy, deserty rally. There you go. I already said beachy rally, but, you know, it's not quite, you know, on the, it's not quite on a shoreline <laughs> somewhere. You know, not that kind of sand out in the, you know, in the heat of the desert, more or less. But yeah, I'm guessing. Are you in that into that kind of thing as well, Crystal? Just out of curiosity. I know, obviously, you like your traditional rallies, but what about like um, desert raids and things like that? Is that sort of thing you might be interested in as well? I'm guessing so. By the ooh at the bit at the beginning of the sentence just now. But yeah, either way, it's um, it should be good. It should be good. I say apprehensively because I've <laughs> I'm going to be finding out for all of you, you know, um, out of my uh, out of my own expense, gulp, <laughs> more or less. So, but um, but anyway, there, folks, uh, that is more or less the end of the stream. Anyway, so thank you again for tuning in. I really appreciate you, the, the the company and the uh, the conversation, and also also for being. Um, you know, for those of you who did comment as well, for being understanding as well about the the issues that I'm um, that I'm enduring at the minute, and uh, why you know I want to you know stop streaming after you know this week. So, but we'll we'll make sure that the rest of this week is a good fun one that we can enjoy together anyway. And um, very little gameplay footage out there, unusual for a new release. Well, there was you know um, there was demo footage that I saw a, a, not too long ago actually. Matt, Matt, Matt. It was on the oh which um, which YouTube channel was it? I think it was on I think it was on the Traxian. Um, YouTube channel, I think, where they showed like gameplay footage of uh, of Dakar Desert Rally, and they gave their feedback anyway on the preview of what the um, what the upcoming title would be like. So, the, the, apart, the, they reckoned that apart from like one or two issues which need ironing out, the handling physics anyway are very very promising, 
anyway, in terms of Dakar Desert Rally. Um, oh, it's only like three short videos. Ah, okay. I get you. I haven't seen the short videos, to be fair. It's, it was only on... Um, on this particular YouTube channel, when I uh, when I found out, anyway, about that. But yeah, you know, we'll definitely find out tomorrow. Absolutely. Well, uh, you know, I can't wait to um, give it a try for you all. Anyway, but until then, folks, have a wonderful uh, wonderful Monday wherever you are in the world, and uh, I'll see you again very very soon. So for, for, uh, tomorrow, very that's how soon. <laughs> but anyway, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and we'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone. Take care. God bless. See you, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Take care.